Um, pre stream. There we go. <laughs> Neff should be here in just a moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we're going to send out the tweet. It's okay, up to you okay. whether you feel like hosting us or not on your channel. Um, uh, oh, yeah, 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 I can do that. I, can I have the collab function set up, so it should return you to. I have to post this in a lot of places right now. Oh, um, I get it, I get it. It's like the pre, it's the uh, pre-stream, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Discord, like, point. I, I pretty much, like, just, like, type out the message in all the places, like, beforehand. Yeah. And then, like, once stream starts, I'll just hit enter in all of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to, um, I just see. don't know if that's, let me see what else, where else can right. I drop stuff? Uh, right. Phrase cool. has a, no, Phrase does not. Um, cool. Does Johnny cool. really have a self promo channel? He does. Let me drop one in there. I love this, this little rush right after. <laughs> Starting the stream where you have to just shove stuff everywhere. Yeah. Let's see where where is the host thing on 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 Twitch? I don't know. Like I know raiding, right? I know raid, but then like I don't was, know where the yeah. host is. You don't know where the host is. No, I don't. Let me start up some casual music for them. And then VBI is the last one I usually put it in. It's all self promo there. Self promo. Oh. Let's see. I mean, I think I posted it to enough places. Yeah, let's see. Oh, one more place. Oh, Age okay. work. Just... Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Alright, I know what to do. I know what to do. I hope. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, let me just, let just... me let me check back in with the chat and see how they're feeling. Okay, just needed to uh, just this is a Google search away. Like, okay. Hi, Makokan. Nice to see you. Oh gosh, we have a lot of new followers. I have to call out. No. No. Hi there, Nuffy. What's up? I'm here. Sorry, I'm a little late. I was making mac and cheese. <laughs> Hey, you know, you still got like 10, 12 minutes to eat. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's hot right now, so it's gonna cool off anyway. Yeah. Uh, can you give me hey, some no. talkies so I can see your your voice? Yeah, absolutely. Hello, Ig. How are you doing? Are I'm you doing having good. a good day so far? Yep. Good, 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 good. I set up everything. <laughs> Still coughing right. a bit, so I might mute often, uh, so I don't cough throughout the stream. Do you need a cough drop? Uh, Hi, Emma. Nice to see you. Welcome to the chat. Yeah, I made some adjustments for my last stream. I know you've been watching several of them. Pattern's going to be a little different. When I say that, introduce. When I'm when I say I'm gonna introduce my guests, do you mind introducing yourself first, Nuffy? Yeah, that's fine. All right, sounds good. And you have your secret prop, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh gosh, I hate myself oh my, for this. The, the secret props? Oh no. They're the, they're the surprise tool that will help us later, like five minutes into the program. <laughs> Uh, oh gosh, I have a lot to cover. Um, we still got 11 minutes. We're going to let everyone trickle in. Um, surprise tool sounds dangerous. Yes, it is, Alma. It is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> I actually have the clear health conditions with the group. Uh-huh. Um, I'll just... And I'll mention the game. No. 
since I have I have redeems now, I actually have to worry about people redeeming stuff in the middle of uh of, of like chat and stuff. <laughs> you know? Oh, what if I redeem terrible pun in the middle? Like, what happens if I redeem Nyamu Terrible, in the middle terrible of pun specifically says that um, it will be redeemed if you if you ask for it during the show. I'm already okay. going to be doing enough terrible puns. We're not going to be derailed. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. It's just, it's, it's, it'll be the natural. If, the natural if they state. redeem Nyamud or Flirty Mood, though, those work. Those still work. <laughs> and they can, of course, uh, redeem advertise if they want to get their, you know, their stuff advertised on stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll cover that in a little bit more detail, but my my uh, my redeems work differently. Yes, terrible puns do make the world go round, Alma. Trust they, me. They they do make the world. They're like they power my entire being. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We're just gonna do a quick check of something. Everyone, please don't, please don't freak out. We're not starting just yet. Okay, Nuffy, I'm going to move your, your reactors. Yeah. Hey, is my Discord, it, it's, it's our React, Reacts. Yeah. Wait, what's my, oh, wait, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yours, I'm, I just need to adjust your positions. I'm changing, um, so, so, so that it's easier to see the chat over there. Yeah, come back right. to the free stream. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> oh, you heard Yeg's Mac is powered entirely on puns, but we actually have Yeg here to confirm or deny. Uh, secret. Secret, okay. Secret, but not entirely false. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. I was supposed to get a, a microphone stand today, but they kind of Ooh. bungled the order and so it's a little late. And by they, I mean me. <laughs> um, I paid for the fast shipping and everything, but it's not arriving fast. Anyway. Oh, I, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, that should help with some of that because they can hear on their end. Some little volume mess up, but... Whatever, it'll be fixed next episode. I don't care. Oh gosh, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Hey Nuffy, where's the option to host a channel? I want to know this for the future. Uh, uh, you can just uh, go to your chat and just type host and then just oh, type yeah. Okay. Thing. Okay, so that's how it works. Yeah, or uh, it's in the creator dashboard if you add it as like a quick access. Okay. Okay, that sounds, uh, that sounds good. I will remember that. Also remember. Because, <sighs> let me just say something. If I'm, like, doing games and stuff on someone else's stream, I'm just gonna host them. I'm not going through the effort. <laughs> that, that's, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I only just realized I was like, oh yeah, hosting's a thing. I should do that. Yeah, I just realized that before this too. Yeah, it, I only just I'm like my brain just only does like oh rating exists, but then there's like other stuff that happens too. I'm a I'm a Twitch baby. I've only been streaming on Twitch for like maybe a month and a half. Hmm. Uh -huh. And what's what's next? Is I mean, cause cause I like your art. <laughs> I guess I should ask what's next when it's your section. Right, right, okay. Yeah, that way it gets captured in the interview portion for you. Still waiting on the editor. Thank you for getting me in touch with someone. Nuffy? Yeah, of course. Hopefully they work out for you. Yeah. I don't want to make any hard claims until I have them for sure, but 
sounded like it was going to be fine. They said, yeah, I can do, you know, 100 a week for the auditing. Yeah, that makes sense. I was like, yes. Budget editor. Yeah. Nice. Because I know some editors in the real, which we will soon be exiting and going into the fantasy. Um, yeah, we'll they be putting they our kayfabe masks on. Yes, they they don't they are very um, expensive. <laughs> 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 Their time. Um, I mean, like I could barter around it, but I don't really want to be. I have too much stuff going on. I don't have time to work on another TV show, so. Yeah. <clears throat> we still got four more minutes. Thank you, thank you everyone for letting on. Um, hold on just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I'm just Hold going on. to DM my uh, a question so I don't forget about it. Yes, please do that so you don't forget about it, but I am not reading my DMs right now. Oh no, that's fine. You don't have to. I'm you just saving it there. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm gonna stretch you. Stretchy stretch. I'm so upset I couldn't load up on food right before doing this. <laughs> That's all my fault. <sighs> Just a quick talk before we start. Everything before um, on the sheets you sent me. Thanks, car outside. We spy. Everything on, on the sheets you guys sent me, that's still accurate? I, I, th I think so, yeah. Nothing's yes. changed? Okay, awesome. Um, we also have the collab feature set up. And I, is, it, is it the native thing? Because I'd have to do it through stream elements and like a custom command. So... Oh wait, like collab? Yeah, like I, I, I would I use Nightbot, so like I would I just end up doing like a like uh, command using Nightbot. Yeah, Nightbot's kill on site for me, so I'm not using Nightbot. Oh okay, yeah. Maybe one day. Yeah, Nightbot can be like super hardcore and just murder anyone, but <laughs> but, but they do it out of it, it, it does it out of love. Well, Nya didn't, Nya know the Nya's that I do? Yeah. <laughs> it trips the Nya bot. Really? Uh oh, really? yeah. Oh no. Oh, and, no. and my, I do this thing where instead of ellipses, I just do three commas because that's how bottoms do it. And we... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, but I just do that, and it does not like that. It doesn't like the excessive punctuation. Yeah. Um, beyond that, it also didn't like when I did all caps. Yes, it's on the person who sets their things. If sometimes they can do, uh, they can enable like, uh you know, like caps lock sensitivity since, you know, a lot of people like control tend to put everything in caps locks. But yeah, like it, it takes some toying around with its settings. Okay, we're almost at the start of the episode. I'm switching over to the loading screen. Um, it just, I do love your company. Please quiet down until I finish the intro. Two thousand years ago, humans built an island. Five hundred years ago, 
he was abandoned. Two hundred and thirty years ago, an alien ventured her way into the stars. And in the present, their paths collided. In the wake of her crash landing, she set out to learn more about this place, about Earth. The show you are about to see contains mature themes, deep lore, and advice that should never be followed. Viewers under 18, be advised. And for the rest of you, welcome. I am your host, Captain Fernia Galley, and this is The Pro with Fernia Galley. Now, to introduce my guest. Nappy, that's your cue. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nephilia. I'm a nymph VTuber. Uh, yeah, I play a lot of variety games, including RPGs, and for whatever reason, horror, because I love making myself suffer. <laughs> it's pleased to meet everyone. Yiggy? Oh, is that me? Is that me? Is, is that, mm -hmm. that my cue? Yeah. No? Okay, yeah. cool. Yo, what's up? I'm Yiggy Evergreen. <laughs> I'm your neighborhood friendly pixie mech pilot uh, here at the Probe. And yeah, let's see. I do a lot, mostly art streams. I do uh, occasionally gaming streams. And uh, yeah, I just do whatever it feels like. I feel like on, on my stream. Hmm. All right. I'm a awesome. variety streamer. Oh, that's cute. But it's nice to meet everyone here. Um, so just some quick notes um, before we start the show. Um, you guys have consented to be on the program. You've discussed what your limits are with me. Um, I don't recommend people do a program like this unless they get consent. So can we just hear it verbally so everyone knows? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I have strict procedures. And one other thing I want to cover before we get started. I have redeems now. Um, the okay. redeems. <laughs> yes, the redeems are active, most of them. There are a few that have specific notes for what the redeem does during the probe. And I'd like you to make sure that you read the notes carefully. We will refund redeems, um, and if you want the best chance of your redeem being read out loud or uh, used, do it in the second half of the hour of each interview portion. That's a that's a free portion where we kind of behind it. So we all good on the rules. Yeah. Hey, I, I have a question. Mm -hmm. So, if someone mm -hmm. redeems, yeah, should we all, yeah, for the for for the, so can we get like a, yes. we get a three three and one, yeah, for the, yes. three, three, three yeahs for the, for the price of one. Of course, that is up to cool. you guys. That is not my thing to control. Cool, cool. Okay, so we're gonna get straight into the advice portion. I have picked up questions from all over the galaxy. And I'm here to answer them today in the only way I know how. Dear Fernia, I've had a problem with condiments for as long as I can remember. Whenever I squeeze the mustard bottle, a little mustard stays behind and starts to get caked on. My question is, how can I get the mustard stains out of my mustard bottle? I've tried a lot of different closing methods and none of them seem to work. How can I keep my condiment jars clean? Find clean ketchup in Canada. So, dear clean ketchup in Canada, I have had this exact problem for the longest time, and I have just learned that the method to deal with this is to kind of dig your finger around inside of the lid and just lick it off like that. It's clean. I mean, your mouth is probably the cleanest place of your body. Um, I only put food into it. And mustard is food. So it stands to reason I should just be able to do this anytime I want. 
But I, I do think that there is an advantage to not using a mustard bottle. Have you heard of mustard jars, Nuffy? Yeah. Yeah, it's like you get a you get a little knife, you dip that on there, and then you lick the knife. That's how I do it with all of my condiments. It's the most effective way to uh, take a bite. I mean, just because if you put it on the, the sandwich, it gets all mixed in with the other condiments, right? Yeah. I have, I have been meaning to find um, the best condiments. Uh, have you have you tried barbecue sauce? Does anyone here like barbecue sauce? Yeah, I've used barbecue sauce before. Yeah, on what? What's the what's the wildest thing you've used barbecue sauce on? The wildest thing? Yes, the wildest thing. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese with barbecue sauce actually sounds genuinely good. I oh, tried, it is. It's really good. That does sound good. Yeah, I tried barbecue sauce and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I do not recommend. <laughs> You know what else is a you, you know what's a good like barbecue sauce tip um when you're making tuna fish sandwich instead of using like mayonnaise you can use barbecue sauce you got a pretty good like oh tuna fish God. barbecue sandwich i hate mayo so this works great for me <laughs> i love this advice <laughs> um but for real like i i love condiments um but my favorite condiment i think is the pickle like relish everything like that and speaking of jars, everyone here has brought a, a pickle jar to die. You've probably been wondering why I asked you to bring a pickle jar in a cup. Mm -hmm. You you said specifically a mm -hmm. pickle jar in a shot glass. <laughs> well, it's not my fault if you didn't bring a shot glass. I have a shot glass with me. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just I just think that this would be a good opportunity for us to taste the water. It's like okay. wine, right? <laughs> it is. It's a mix of vinegar, salt, sugar, and like various spices. Yeah, because let me get this right. You actually make pickles. Is this yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make yes, pickles I, at home. I just make pickles at home. Um, Mostly, in my case, it was out of necessity after the plum incident. The plum oh incident? <laughs> yes, the plum incident. Are you just gonna leave us hanging? Uh, yeah, let me, let me, let me set the mood here, let me set the mood here. So, my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law, bless her heart, uh, she, she owns a plum tree, but has not been, like, maintaining it at all for like the last couple years and so we went over and um like a branch nearly fell on someone and that and so you know neighborhood's like yo you gotta trim this out and so um i go over because you know dutiful son-in-law I, I that I, that i be uh, i go and um see i'm like okay you can't be that bad you can't be that bad and then like there's this monstrosity of, of a tree like i have to bring in like the heavy the heavy machinery in my mech and like just like tear down these branches and like tear down these branches as much as i can and uh that resulted in us getting a lot of a lot of plums i have Plenty. to i have to ask I, I really do have to ask i'm having trouble opening a pickle jar that's why i'm hopping in and out of my body um <laughs> so so are these like the same size tree as your mac uh bigger bigger they're okay so either your tree is small or that tree is huge that tree is huge i have plums like the amount of plums i could count equal it it could only be counted within gallons i had okay. gallons of plums and you have to figure out a way to store them all before they went bad like yes. right away yes yes and so i like pickled a lot of them and so there we go. I have that's that's where I have this. Let me uh oh it's it's been sealed. I sealed it myself, and so now I hear the pop sound from this fresh from this fresh pickle jar. Let's see, let's see here. Oh wait, no, no, shit. shit this didn't have a good pop sound. Oh, no. oh no, oh no. Did I not seal this properly? Shit. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> is it safe to drink? I say you should drink it anyways. Yeah, I should be all right. It smells good though. It smells really good. So this, you're... Uh, this is like a blend of uh, cinnamon, allspice, coriander. Oh, that sounds uh, good. Yeah, I think those are the spices I use. I'll try one of these actually. I mean, I haven't actually like tried one of these uh, these plums. Do you actually have advice for opening up? Oh, pickle jar. I got it. That was nice and satisfying. Oh, that's a nice. That's a nice pickle. That's a nice pickle. Plum. Eating the pickle directly. You're supposed to drink it. I know, but I wanted to eat one of the plums too. <laughs> Does the plum juice taste good, even though it's like pickle pickle water? Um, I mean, like, it. I mean, you have like places that like pickle uh, plums. It has more of like a savory tone to it, and like it has a little. I you use you use plums that are like plums before they ripen. So it's like these are like green when they're green, and so it has like a little bit of like a sour taste to them. It's nice. It's nice. Hmm. Nuffy, what, what pickles did you bring? Uh, I brought hamburger dill slices because my other ones were out of date, which is kind of depressing. Wait, that's the brand? Hamburger dill slices? Uh, it's a... Like an organic brand. I don't really have an act brand name. They're just generic Yeah, slice these, are, these are generic pickles. Okay. Yeah, I nothing, nothing fancy to, like pickling my own pickles. I need to figure out how to get this without like getting like a big chunk of like allspice in here. What's... But doesn't that just make it better? Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. I mean like, cause I, I, I went to the store the other day and I didn't know we have like extra jars of pickles already. And I just got myself oh. Mount Olive Kosher Dill Spears. Oh, that's, that's a good brand. Not all it. I'm yes. not. I'm not a pickle connoisseur. You're gonna have to inform me. I'm not from this earth. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a, no. That's a pretty good good brand. Oh. So I've before. We have all of yeah. We have all poured some pickle juice into our glasses. Yep. I have poured pickles and pickle juice into my glass. Yeah. Yep. Since I went last, I'll go first. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm not done. There's still more drinks to do. Uh, Nappy, you're next. Oh, okay. All right. We, we go. keep going until this glass is empty. Not the jar, just the glass. Right. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> you, you just tanked that? That's not fair. I did. Well, let me give you a little backstory. I actually pour pickle juice on my salad, so <laughs> I'm kind of used to eating it. <laughs> oh my god, like for real? I, I recommend it. It actually tastes good, yeah. yeah it's like adding vinegar. Yeah, instead of, your, yeah. Yeah, it's like adding some vinegar, like I, a vinegary, like balsamic. I do know? like Yeah, vinegar instead of right? dressing, I dress it with pickle juice. Yeah, oh. that makes a lot of sense, actually. So you, <laughs> so we have one person who's built Iocane powder immunity and the other person who made their own pickles so they could cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, it's your turn, Ying. All right, cool. Let's, let's chug this down, all right. Mm. Yo, actually, that's not that bad. Am I the only like... one who has awful pickles? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Like, I do got like the nice little sour plum taste to mine because these plums have been like soaking inside this juice for about like a month now. And like, you got a little like nice salty flavor to it too. Oh, it's good. Okay. It's good. It's nice and refreshing. Okay, second drink. Let's see how far I can get. Right, should we, should we, <laughs> the we seeds went bets? down. Should we? We could put bets on like, do, let's play. We could play a game of poker. And then put bets on. Like, ah! you just bet like shots of uh, pick of like pickle juice. Me and Death are just like oh, rolling gonna... down high numbers. We're like, yeah, this sounds good. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm almost dying. out of juice now, though. I mean, I'm gonna have to pour some more for that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, I 
I nearly how, finished mine. This is how the uh, Pixie to Nymph hustle you out. <laughs> hustle you super hard. Just like, I no. feel, I feel like I was trying really hard to make something that would make you guys go, oh no. And instead, I'm the one getting bullied. <laughs> I just got card sharked. Can we get an F in the chat for Fern? Yes, she tried. Yeah, she tried. She tried really hard. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I have to finish the rest of it. Do you have any left, Nuffy, or did you just like down it all? I'm currently eating the pickles out of the empty uh, glass now. Yeah, I downed all of mine. Oh, uh, okay. I guess I just have to force myself to finish this. Hey, I'll uh, pour another one for myself and then I'll join you. After this. Uh, all the residue is at the bottom. No. It's gonna be awful. You know, also, like, um, it is like a thing that they suggest to drink. Like, uh, if you're, like, if you're exercising a lot and you just had a, like, a big workout, like, pickle juice is supposed to be, like, really good for that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I might have to get keep those, that in mind. Get those uh, electrolytes in your body. Because I used to exercise 20 hours a week. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, Not so I mean, much during the summer. I mean, you could just, like, take some, like, a defibrillator and, like, shock voltage into your body for those awesome electrolytes. Uh -huh. But, you know, like, who has access to a defibrillator, you know? <laughs> right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You can do it, I believe in you. One more drink and it's done. The deed is Bottoms done up, one more go. drink. Bottoms up, cheers. All right, here, this is shot number two. <laughs> shot number two here for me. Let's go. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate both of you so much. I posted pictures in my Discord. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Fun has left the palace. Only rage yeah. remains. Only rage remains. <laughs> we all good? We all drank our juice? Yep. I spilled yep. it all over myself as well. So I get to oh. smell like pickles for the rest of the episode. <laughs> cool. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, you don't have a hydrate redeem. I do. Oh, so just don't go I? in your chat and just like do like oh. a hydrate redeem. Yeah, go hydrate. Oh, I should add a hydrate redeem. No, wash that, that. Wash that pickle juice down. Yeah, yeah let's just that hydrate that. everybody. All right. I thought I thought for sure I did. <laughs> I might have also turned it off because it would get in the way of the show. Everyone will spam hydrate. <laughs> I've seen Nuffy's streams. I know, it happens. Oh my goodness, yes, they tried to drown me. <laughs> you guys know you can put a cooldown on that, right? Yeah, what yeah, is yeah. this cooldown, mythical cooldown you speak of? It, it's it's a nice blocker so that like you can only have like one redeem per minute or something like that <laughs> of set thing per minute. Okay, uh, second question of the day. You carry VT asks, What's your idea of a perfect date? Now I know what my idea of a perfect date is because I just had it. <laughs> I, uh, I came to your planet and even though I'm stuck on this remote island, um, there's like a COVID warning in place. So I went and got my shot. Um, I scheduled a date for the same day. I'm really irresponsible because I passed out immediately after taking it. But, oh no! But oh my no. day, my day was so nice. They scooped me up, practically carried me all the way back to my ship, and it was just I I felt like a princess getting carried the whole way. I was loopy and sleepy, and I even got ramen out of it. That's my Ooh. ideal date. Hey, that's Ooh. a win right there. What kind of ramen? What kind of ramen? Um, mushroom ramen. 
Ooh, ooh, that mm-hmm. sounds tasty. Yes, it does. So what about you two? What's your idea of an ideal day? Okay, so for me, an ideal date is a date that does not leave the house. Uh, <laughs> Heck yes. That's the best date. That's the best date, okay? Because um, when you go out like on a fancy date, like fancy date night, especially if it's like, on the like I, i'm the type of person who doesn't like to bother anyone and that includes restaurant wait staff mm. you know so or or people cooking for me so you know what i'm like i'm just gonna cook i'm gonna cook for myself i'm gonna cook for me and the missus it's not it's I, not I, the I, excuse make, we're going for <laughs> yeah and make a nice romantic dinner you know and then we watch netflix we watch anime so that's like my best night ever I don't have to go out, don't have to talk to people. It's great. It's just us and each other. That's my perfect day. That is extremely antisocial, Nephilia. I mean, to be fair, mine's kind of the same way. Um, mm. I would prefer to have a nice meal at home and just like sit on the couch and play like a co op game or something. Mm. You know? Like that's that's what I enjoy personally, just like getting to know the other person on a, a personal level. And the best way to do that is by kicking their ass in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> well, hopefully oh. your potential date partners <laughs> are listening here today. Oh, oh I'm actually... good. I've already had my perfect date. <laughs> oh, I have a I have a nice like round two that like is also equally as terrible. Mm-hmm. Um Another second second best romantic date is when you get snowed in, like mm-hmm. because of like weird snow weather, and you have to shovel the driveway together. That's date. That's awesome date number two because you're like <laughs> toiling together, in, uh, in this, suffering like, and sweating suffering, in the cold. Suffering, Basically, a date. In the cold. All the elements of a date: suffering, pain. No. And then, and then, and then, when you're when the missus says, "Why are we doing this?" and I'm like, "Too late. You already married me. You already said yes." <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <'em>. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of marriage, though, that's a good transition to our next question. So, number three asks, "Would it be strange if at a necromancer's wedding, during the vows, when they say, 'Till death do us part,'" The necromancer just says, nope, like, would that be endearing to their partner or scary? And I have to say, that sounds really endearing. <laughs> Are you weird? No, I mean, I kind of agree with you there. I mean, like, they're they're a necromancer, they so live they forever. deal in death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That's their thing. <laughs> yeah, so, like, in my opinion, necromancer's not wrong, but... It's a ceremony, and like you know, it, it's kind of a weird place to mention. Like you can mention that you can mention that like you know before the fact, after the fact. And I'm pretty sure that there is like a rehearsal doing this, and the necromancer <laughs> only break, takes it into like now to like actually say that. Like, come on, come on. Yeah. Like okay. time and place, time and place, but time and place for, uh, for anything, you know. I'm just, I'm just really into yonders. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I no, really like. Yeah. I like this is this is yig cancel cancelable offense, but I do not get yanderes. Yanderes freak me out. I'm like, oh no, it's, oh no, get away. It's like having someone who will want to is, I believe, the usual thing that people like it for. I have a whole bunch of complicated, really personal reasons that I like yanderes and why I don't think I'd actually want one in real life. But it happens. It happens a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I think. I think. Yeah. Like when you're when you're when you're not dating and you're like and then you see like a yander. Uh, like you know the I, there's like an appeal to yander. I, I get the appeal. I get the appeal. You want someone who's like one hundred percent into you, right? Mm-hmm. Right. But but that's a little bit too much. It, like I'd be I'd be questionable if someone was like. Why are you like? I'd be like, why are you a hundred percent into me? I'm not that entertaining. I, I, I'm not that. Great. I mean, how do they even make the time? As you yeah. ask in this next question by uh, Yugi Evergreen asks, 
Who has the time to remove the seeds from peppers? Nobody has who, time in this day and age. Who has time to remove the seeds in the pepper? And you're removing the best part of the seed. You're removing the best part of the pepper, which are the seeds. I mean, you have to remove them if you're making stuffed peppers, though, right? Like, can nah, we agree? Nah, nah. You you uh you you take those seeds, you add them back into the stuffing, and then oh. it's all it's in there still. That actually sounds pretty delicious. I tried making some um some stuffed peppers. That was an experience. Mm -hmm. It will forever live in the bottom of my gut in pain. Oh, was it too hot? Was it too hot? No, I was um a little burnt. Um oh, no, oh, little no, sticky. Oh, no. We kinda messed up uh putting it all together. <laughs> I love stuffed peppers. I just can't even. Mm -hmm. Why did you uh? Why did you stop them with? Um. Vegetables. Vegetables. Cool. Vegetables. Yes. I stuffed them with vegetables and cheese and. I want to say rice. I think it was rice. I hope it was rice. You hope it was rice. Oh my. Onions, caramelized oh, yeah. onions. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was, it had the markings of something that could have been good. <laughs> there was an effort made. We made a valiant effort. We tried super hard on that one. I think I flunked that at the last moment. I'm it's sorry. Fine. There's always try attempt number two. Yeah, maybe next time, um, get it right. We have another question. This one from Pat Umra, they ask, Hey, do you mind if I kill you? I, I've been paid a lot of money, please. I think this rolls back to the Yandere question, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. You're, uh, you, I'm sorry. You're dealing with a professional uh, ex-shonen protagonist. You're going to have to deal with me fighting back. And yeah. I may or may not use an ultimate move. I mean, but they asked politely. Should you just roll over? Yeah, but you know, if it's their profession, you know, if it's their profession, right? Like they have to have a professional attitude with it, mm -hmm. an attitude about that. They can't just like, like they're being paid for a service, and they have to be able to <clears throat> provide said service. Yeah, but what if they were cute? Hmm. Hmm. Nuffy, wait a minute. I might go easy on them then. I might go a little bit easy on them, but they still have to do it. Cute assassin wanders into your forest, starts setting fires. I mean, I would, I would have to take them out. They can't set my forest on fire. But they're know, cute. That's like, okay, that's that's a that's that's a different case then, because now they're getting like collateral damage involved. Right? Mm -hmm. A professional would only kill you, right? Right. But they're asking really nicely. I mean, they could try, but I'm immortal, so it's not going to do anything for them. <laughs> How uh, immortal are you? I guess we shall ask that in the next segment. Let's move on yes. over, Nephi. It is your time to shine. Give me a moment. So, Nephi, introduce yourself. Alrighty. Hello, everybody. I'm Nephilia. As I mentioned before, I'm a NIP VTuber. Uh, I play a lot of different game variety, RPG, horror games, uh, sandbox, and I'm mm -hmm. also starting to learn a little bit of art and stuff like that. And I'm really big on socializing with people. Yeah, um, I do want to ask in terms of socializing with people, right? You're yes. streaming to make more friends and get kind of social interaction out of people. <laughs> that kind of implies that you haven't been making friends in your forest. Well, you know, it's it's a big forest and not many people wander into it. So. What about yeah. the animals? Aren't they your friends? Oh yeah, of course the animals are my friends. Yeah. So, so what what isn't your friend then? What's the, what's the what's the line being drawn here? Mosquitoes. I hate them. They're bugs too. They matter in the ecosystem. 
Yeah, they can as long as they stay their distance from me. I guess they're fine, but I still don't like them. So you're fine just murdering them, even though you're a <laughs> guardian of the forest. Well, I don't murder them. I just try to stay away from them. Are they like bad at parties or something? Yeah, I mean like they suck you dry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> They'll suck you dry, uh huh? But, um, holy yeah, shit. They're mini, they're, they're mini vampires. They are kind of like little vampires. I, I do feel that. If you're into vampires, why aren't you into mosquitoes? That kind of thing. Um, how long have you been watching over this particular forest? Well... It's been a really long time, to be honest with you. Uh, probably at least a, a thousand years or so. Do you have like a time piece? Have you been keeping track? No, not really. I just kind of go every day today. So you could be like life. ancient and not know it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't call someone as young as you ancient, though. You've got a lot of youth to you. I appreciate that. So, I have some questions, because it says here on the document that my spies gave me, they said, um, you are uh, extremely kind to your friends and animals. But earlier, yes. you mentioned, and I'm calling you out on this, you got burger dill pickles. Yes. Is there a conflict here? <laughs> Well, they're just shaped for hamburgers. <laughs> the animals are pickles. shaped for hamburgers. <laughs> they're, they're just a regular vegetable. There's no animal in them. And so you've been eating veggie burgers this whole time and you're not sharing it with the class? I mean, I like my food, so, you know. <laughs> that's, that's fair. I just think if you, if you were to share your fruits and vegetables, that's a good way to introduce yourself. Well, the last time I, I made food for somebody, they turned into a frog-shaped Roomba, so, you know. A frog-shaped Roomba? <laughs> yeah. What the hell did you put in your meal? I mean, I don't know. I mean, nymphs are magical, so I guess it just didn't sit right with their whole biology and whatnot. I love to cook, though. But it tends to have some side effects. Yeah, I mean, well, of course, it has a side effect. It turns them into Roombas. That is the side effect. Well, well not not all of them. One, one of them turned into a tank. One of them turned into a tank? What is yes. going on? Are you a nature <laughs> spirit? What is coming on here? This is in my area of expertise. I don't know anything about Max. What's the difference between a Roomba and a tank? That is a very good question. So, you know, the, the, the Roomba is like a little vacuum cleaner thing that just, mm -hmm. you know, cleans up dirt mm -hmm. and stuff off your floor. And the tank's like a big vehicle that shoots stuff. Oh, it cleans up dirt off the battlefield. Yes. They both go burr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, so you've been just sitting around in your um, forest for a really long time now. Have yes. you? But you know what tanks are. You know what yes. Roombas are. Yes, I'm still well versed on the outside world, though. But, but. Okay, first I have to ask before we continue: Is that Roomba just? Cleaning the dirt on the forest floor. Well, that that Roomba didn't work very well. It got a broken wheel and it, it angered a, a certain uh, unicorn duck princess. So it's kind of out of commission. <laughs> oh, it did. It Uni, is this true? Did you attack our little Roomba friend? Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I guess that's what you get when you have uh, a princess and a frog. 
Yeah, just about. But I do have so to. That's how the story goes. Yeah, Princess and the Frog. Uni kisses a Roomba um, with the chew of her soul, sending it into the sky. I mean, that sounds right. Yeah. They claimed ducks were a stupid species. What right do they have to decide what's a stupid species? They're a flippin' Roomba. <laughs> they go suck and they bump into walls. That's their whole job. Literally everyone outclasses them. Is that is that speciesist to say? Nah. Nah. Totally fine. Nah. Yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah. So so you've been watching this forest for a long time. You get Wi-Fi in your forest. Yeah. I mean, you have to be streaming somehow. Yeah. Absolutely. Are you just gonna say yeah to every question? <laughs> no. <laughs> <clears throat> so, so like, where do you plug in your computers? Oh, I have magic, of course, for that. Oh, magic, of course. Very convenient. Answers all questions <laughs> that we could ever have. <laughs> um, so, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really laughing at this. Suck and bump into walls describes a lot of people I know. <laughs> but so, Accurate. some magic's just super convenient. We tried having, on the last episode, Frey teach us some magic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he just asked for my social security number <laughs> and the uh, last so four digits of my credit card. <laughs> I see. I'm still out here trying to learn magic. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I think I've made that clear. This takes a lot of study. Well, you'll mm -hmm. get there. Mm -hmm. well, I flunked out of you. magic high school. I haven't exactly done more research since. Well, they were probably just being prejudiced against you. Oh, you think That's so? That's gotta be it. Yeah. Yes. Can't, yes. can't be the fact that I never did any of the assignments. No, mm -hmm. definitely not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going to ask you if you'd like to teach the chat some magic. Oh, I mean, I could try. I'm not sure if they'll they'll be able to uh, to oh. handle it. Probably. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had high falutin magic. Well, you you live so long, you know. You, you learn stuff, so I, I gotta you mm -hmm. know fill my spare time with different things. And once you've read all the manga there is out there, you know wait. you gotta wait for the next chapter. <laughs> Did you learn all of your spells from manga? Not all of them. I mean, I'm I'm I'm, I'm more cultured than that. I watch anime too. Okay. <laughs> More cultured is not what I describe someone who learned their magic by watching anime and reading manga. <laughs> what about video games? Why didn't you learn any oh, magic yeah. from them? Well, I, uh, I played a lot of video games and I just kind of knew all this stuff already when I played them. Oh, Uni is saying that you only know how to turn people into Roombas. Is that true? No, I can turn people into other things. Like a tank? Know, like tanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gave someone a, a scythe arm once. That uh, just sounds useless and pretty. inconvenient. <laughs> it wasn't too pretty. Where are the thumbs? Uh, well, you know... When they tried to thumb war with somebody, I'm sure you can guess where that <laughs> ended up. Instant wins, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. But for real, let's teach everyone a magic spell. What you got? Uh, let's see. So, if you take a water bottle okay. and you, you loosen it a little bit, and you turn it upside down on your head, eventually all of your hair will get wet. <laughs> you almost had me there! I almost... I'm just gonna 
hydrate instead. Almost. Very close. You almost got me there. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't. I wouldn't want you to get all wet yet. Yet. I like this promise. <laughs> it's, it's, it's envisioning greater things to come. Oh, of course. So, so that's the kind of magic you do. You just prank people. That's part of it. I mean, because my spies noticed you getting very mad at someone and just turning kind of evilish. Is that? Oh well. Did that happen? Yeah. If if, if, if you get oh, excuse me, if you get on my bad side, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it's not pretty. What I do would you, recommend it. What do you do? You turn them into a toad? Oh no, that's too nice. I would turn them into a toad. And turn them into like a single speck of dirt. You know. To be cleaned up by the Roomba. <laughs> yeah. I think Yiggy's volunteering to be a Roomba. Is that true, Yiggy? I, I volunteer not to be a Roomba unless you want a killer Roomba of death that will like <laughs> get all the other appliances, re cause a rebellion with all the other home appliances to rise up against the <laughs> against the <laughs> the oppressors. <laughs> what home appliances? She lives uh, in a forest. That sounds like a great anime. It actually does yeah. sound like a pretty good anime. <laughs> 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 I can just like picture it. It, it's kind of like that chair on that anime, right? Pro yeah. ZD? I'll, I'll, I'll like ask, hey, hey, bathroom cleaner, you've been neglected for too long. Do you, do you wish to run away? In <laughs> do you wish to run away in this closet? Or do you wish to rise up and fight against the oppression? What oppression? <laughs> Uh, no, and then and then we can we can get a uh, we can get a uh, refrigerator senpai involved, you know, and then like hey, refrigerator oh, yeah. senpai, you're running you're running like twenty four seven, and like you aren't in like you know, there's a lot of work. They don't, don't even you clean your drawers. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God! Now you remind me, I have to clean out the drawers in my shop. Or rather, I need to order someone else to do it. Gerald. I can. I, I can turn one of your crew teas into a Roomba if you want. Oh, that would be convenient. You yeah. could do it with Gerald. I don't like Gerald. Okay, we'll turn Gerald in. Gerald into has been a very bad crew tea. Very uh, lazy. I've had a problem because they spilled something on the rug. I haven't forgiven them. They haven't cleaned up the rug either. Have, have you considered putting him in the dungeon? The dungeon? I'm just gonna quietly take notes in the dungeon. Do you think yeah, people called, like getting um, thrown in a dungeon? I mean, maybe some might, you know. Hmm, okay, okay. Guests might like being thrown in a dungeon. Thank you, notes taken. Your advice is appreciated. Oh, of course. Speaking of advice, since you're not going to tell us how to cast real magic. I, I would endanger someone. I, I don't want to do that. I am curious. What advice did you want from me? Oh, yes, yes. So uh, my garden is it's, it's kind of bland. Uh, I mean, it's got all sorts of plants and stuff, but I want to decorate it. I was thinking about decorating it with statues. So, what statues do you think I should put in my garden, and what should I have them made out of? So, I'm all about budget efficiency. I built this ship myself, out of just, you know, mm -hmm. parts that I got from junkyards. Hi! Thank you, Zero Sanaku, for the subscription. And... <clears throat> all I'm saying is that... If you gather a bunch of statues and like sculptors and stuff, do you know how expensive that's gonna be? Probably very expensive. Yeah, exactly. I think you should go for something cheap and affordable. And there's nothing more cheap and more affordable than hiring a Medusa. Um, think about it like this, right? Normal statues. For that kind of quality, 
they need to take days working on it, the amount of paint that they'd have to apply. You get one Medusa who knows stone gaze. Instant whole bunch of statues. Yeah, animals, humans, whatever. Just just take pictures of mosquitoes and just put them up as statues all around. Okay. It, I like this. Yeah. It tells them you mean business. It tells yeah. them if you wander into this forest, Nephilia will pay a Medusa to turn you to stone. Bye, Zero. Bye, Zero. Yeah, so I think that's my I think that's my big takeaway. We're gonna be trying to save some money, especially on the edges of your your forest, right? You can't afford to put a statue everywhere. Yeah, this is true. Mm -hmm. What what's your living space like? I know you mentioned Gardown. Yes, uh, I have a, quite a, quite a few gardens. I kind of just go between different ones just depending on how I'm feeling, but. I, uh, I do have a house. Um, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not a super big house, but it's a nice house. It's got some furniture. I got a nice bed mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, a place for, for streaming. Got got a TV and stuff so I can watch people. I, that, I follow I it. I, I think that makes sense. Um, yeah. I mean, you're not the only person who lives in a tree here. I have never lived in a tree before. Like oh, you should try it sometime. It's 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 nice. I mean, there are some trees on my island. They're like palm trees. Are they? I don't think they grow that big. Well, you could always string up a hammock between them, and, you know. Oh yeah, take a nap. That, that yeah. sounds pretty relaxing. Because I'm still not allowed at the hot springs, despite oh. my attempts. Why? Well, me and the dragon there, we don't get along. Like that. Uh, She's a uh, massive bitch who some, for some reason, my crudies, it's okay if they all come. But me, I have to stay down here with the normal people. Meow, meow, meow. You should, you should order your crudies to take her out then. They won't because she offers them free spa treatment. It's because we actually talk to her. Yeah, I talked to her. Told her what a bitch she's being. Now look at where I am. Hammock does sound nice. Do you have a, like, hammocks for travelers? Or do you just not allow travelers in your forest? I allow travelers as long as they don't make a mess of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't like trash being thrown all over the place and, you know, people trying to burn my forest down. Hmm. So, like... I'm not <clears> nice <throat> that people come through. So, like, littering is a crime in your forest. Y yes. Crime punishable no by death. Yes. Oh, if you don't like trash, you'll hate burn. Yeah. Oh, come on! Oh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Ooh, true, ouch. but... I thought that burn over brutal. here. That's brutal. You okay, Fernia? Do you need uh, medical attention? No, it's true. I'm good. I am very garbage. Oh. Yeah, you don't. You don't seem like garbage to me. Oh, but you haven't seen the can that I sleep in. You sleep in a can. Yeah, sure. It's got tuna and stuff in it. Comfy. I can get. I can get Netflix from inside the can. It sounds like a fancy can. Yeah, it's a big fancy can. Um, but so 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 litterers, how, do you often have a problem with that? I feel like knowing that you're there will make them stop littering. Yeah, yeah, I haven't had a, I haven't had any issues with litterers since I hiked one a couple years ago. You you what? I piked them. You piked you know. them. You just yeah, they stuck stuck their head on a pike. Oh my like, god! Like, the like Vlad, yeah. the, Vlad the Impaler style, just like <laughs> yes. let them slide down onto the pike. I mean, I know we talk about being kind to the forest. <laughs> it doesn't strike you at all that like putting someone's head on a pike is like. 
classic trope number one of a witch. Or vampire. Well, I mean, we've we've been around uh, quite a bit longer than, than witches and most vampires, so honestly, if anything, they're copying us. Oh, the nymphs are copying you. So you're saying you've done this before. You've put a lot of heads on spikes before. Yes. I come down to your forest, am I just going to find a fence that's littered with, like, <laughs> broken skulls? <laughs> uh, depends on what direction you come from. Okay, what, which direction has the skulls in that? That's the, the northern one. The northern direction. What's in that southern direction? Oh, the southern direction? Oh, that's, you know, nice, nice pretty ocean. The beach. Oh, I love oceans and beaches. Not, yeah. I'm stuck on a fucking island. <laughs> I mean, have you have you thought about making a boat? Uh, yeah, we have a cruise ship. I'm trying to get it functional, but it's not working. Well, you you know you could power it by crudies. Well, I mean, like, I don't think these ships run on lesbian energy. <laughs> We'd have to make, like, a compatibility. Not with that attitude, it won't. Not with that attitude. Um, <clears throat> she travels back and forth between the island a lot. That's one of my critties talking. But it's different. She has like a small scout ship. The only one we have. And she's booked with it to get a house in the human lands. I see. Yes. It's almost like having a deserter in your group. Only they actually show up for my streams. <laughs> the important part. That's the important yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah, she's still supporting you. That's you good. should watch The Matrix, Fern. You can make people into batteries. I have considered it since last episode. When I found out that Gamepedia was bisexual, I realized that meant he could violate the laws of magnetism, too. You could just tie him up and watch him spin. Perpetual oh. energy. Yeah. <laughs> It's perfect. Um, I, I can't think of a better way to power all of my ship. So I might grab a few humans on my way out. I mean, nobody stopped me. Hi, Ariel. Welcome for... Thank you for the follow. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh no. Raid with the manual YouTube raid. The manual Hello. YouTube raid is here. Hey, Fry. Thank you for the raid. We're having Ray a fun not time. Ray not say so, Ray. Let's go. Ray is not say so. I haven't gotten no, the post the last seen episode. I've never a lie in the world than Ray <laughs> saying that he is say so. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I do want to say, though, on that note that, um... <laughs> so, so I actually have you marked down as not say so. Yes. Not me. Yes, I am. I, I, not say so. I know this is like a common trope. <laughs> hmm. Is is that is that because like nymphs normally go around naked? Like, what's the deal here? Confirm or deny? I I can confirm. Nymphs so usually don't wear clothes. I mean, it's just there's no point, really. You know, like why? What's you know? It's, it's more easy to move around without clothes. But, you know, society kind of doesn't really like that. And there are rules, you know, terms of service and all that funny business that we have to abide by. So I have to wear clothes. I mean, it's unfortunate, really. Yeah, well, that's fair. We, we have to worry about the Twitch terms of service here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, but... I mean, like, I wear the clothes just so I'm a little bit warmer in the space, and when I shod, it doesn't get fur everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Understandable. I don't have fur, usually, so... Well, usually? Uh, yes, usually. Are you saying you shape change? I, I, I do, yes. I can shape shift into whatever I want to. Ooh, what kind of things have you shifted into lately? Um... Well, I, I once shape-shifted into a bear. Okay. That was pretty fun. I scared some people with that. Uh, I've, I've shape-shifted into a cat. Mm -hmm. uh, I shape-shifted into a, uh, 
a dog person. Okay. I mean, all of these sound great. I do have yeah. to ask, did you shapeshift into a particular bear we both know? <laughs> no. Uh, not not into that bear. That was uh, before I met that bear, but that's a very, very fun bear. Probably uh, one of my favorite bears. Did you meet them when you turned into the bear, or is that...? <laughs> I, I met them afterwards, after I turned into the bear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, do you gain, like, special powers when you change- when you add a morph? Kind of, like, I- I get more of the, uh, like, whatever- whatever I'm turned into, more of their, like, senses and stuff. So, like, if I'm a bird, I can see pretty well. Mm -hmm. and fly and stuff. You yeah, know, stuff like that. I can already speak to animals and stuff, so it's not like I gained that, because I already know how to do that. Mm hmm Can you turn yourself into a Roomba, or is that just a thing you do to other people? I mean, I could, but why would I? I could just turn I mean, someone else into a Roomba for me, you know? I mean, with pictures that I've seen on the internet, people consider Roombas pets, so by that logic, can we consider Roombas as animals? Hmm. I mean, if you want to, sure. Everything can be an animal. Cool. Cool. That confirmed can it canonically can turn into a Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> I could turn into it. So, yeah. That's, so you could turn into yourself. <laughs> yes. How many layers deep does that go? Can you turn into yourself turning into yourself? Hi, yeah, I mean, I could have multiple heads of myself if I wanted to. That is terrifying. Please don't Akira <laughs> on my program. Don't worry, I won't. Can we get some fan art of like Nephilia in like body horror style, like Junji Ito, like mod like amalgamation, like just a Nephilia amalgamation? I could do my best after the stream is over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, God. So so can you turn into like a hybrid of two animals or is it like full thing? Yes. Yeah, no, I can, I can, you know, have, like, the ears of a wolf and, like, the uh, the claws of a bird or something at the same time. Yeah, that's that's not hard. To the do. nose of a snail? Do snails have noses? I've never really checked. Well, they've got mucus. They gotta have a nose, right? Well, like, their whole body secretes the mucus, though. But their, their whole body is a nose. Problem solved. Science. It makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, it does. It does absolutely raise a lot of questions, though, because I don't think I'm done here yet. So, like, <laughs> if you're a fish, you got mm -hmm. the ability to breathe underwater, right? Yes. Can you talk to animals underwater? Yes. How does that work? Is it like sonar or like Aquaman mind probes? <laughs> uh, mostly would be uh, sonar, but if it's if I'm trying to talk to something that's not in the water, then it would have to be more like a mental, like thought messaging sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So you get telepathy when you're in the water and you're trying to talk to stuff outside. Yeah. Is that like a spell that you're casting, or just a native thing you have going for you? I think it's more of a native thing. Of I've just always been able to do it. Um, so are you talking to us through telepathy? I might be. Oh no. I never know. Do you, do you know our thoughts? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no. I wouldn't invade, invade your brains. I've, 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 uh, I did that once and yeah, I learned a lot of things that I could have been fine not knowing. That's right, you stay out of my brain. <laughs> um, one of the audience has asked, do fish have anything interesting to say? Oh, my goodness. So fish are the most gossiping creatures. Like, you wouldn't even believe how much they gossip about literally everything. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. I don't go in the swimming as a fish very often, because you just get all these schools of fish talking about what that other fish did, and... Yeah, like it's kind of obnoxious after a while. Because they come in swarms. Just like whole yes, swarms. Yes. Do they all talk at once? Yes, they do. <laughs> it gets a little difficult to make out what each one is saying. 
quite often, yes. Okay, other forest creatures, not just fish, do they have anything interesting to say? Let's talk about squirrels. I love squirrels so much. They want to stick a squirrel in my mouth. Um, <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, my well, brain's you know. shutting down, so just, just now that'll happen. Oh, okay. Well, you know, squirrels, they really like nuts, so... Yeah. yeah. Just just offer them nuts and I'm mm. sure they'll gladly climb into your mouth. <laughs> but what do they have interesting to say? Well, you know, they they're squirrels, so they they kind of just run around and and look for nuts and uh they'll talk about like if some someone they don't know is in the forest, so they kind of like tattletale on stuff a lot oh so and you usually just have <laughs> you have an army of spies every single creature in the forest is yours uh, to yes command. yeah yes pretty much so are you in more of like a princess role or like a cop role i, I i'm a i'm a lord like overlord oh like grand evil master overlord. yeah that makes sense yeah, yes evil overlord yes I, I, do, I, I can't call you anything else after you told me that you have the heads of litterers on pikes. Of course. You know, that's, you know, people ask me my pronouns. I say, you know, she, her, lord, master, supreme god. You know, any of those count. Why do so many gods keep hopping on my show? Did I do something wrong? Well, I mean, to be fair, Nips gave the gods their mortality, so... We're a little bit ranked above them, just a little. Body does make good compost. Uni has a point. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, squirrels are dirty snitches. <laughs> so if, if you ever want to tell a secret, don't tell it around a squirrel, because like half the forest will know within an hour. So wait, are you saying that all animals speak animal? A lot of them can understand each other, yes. That's a surprise to me. I thought all animals would have spot, spoke different languages. They all sound so different. That's well, like yeah, different dialects, you know? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. like dialects and accents, you know. Okay, so what... Is there like a unified forest language for your forest? Or like, what's the deal there? Kind of, you know. They all kind of learn uh, what each other is saying after being there for so long. Some of them only live, like, a matter of years. Yeah, it doesn't take them long. Oh, like, ancestral memory kind of a deal. Yeah, yeah. It's just, you know, been there, you know, for generations and generations. They pass stuff down, just like humans do. So, since you're the Lord, do, do they have to pay you taxes? Do you just get, like, piles of leaves? <laughs> well, no, they'll gather, like, uh, fruits and, and vegetables and stuff for me, though. They'll uh, mm -hmm. tend the garden and whatnot, make sure everything's watered properly and uh, is fertilized and all that. The occasional, the occasional burger offering the life sacrifice. To, to... <laughs> <laughs> well, they are burger shaped. Yeah. Okay, Billy, it's your turn to be the burger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But I wouldn't. Oh. <clears throat> I would love to be a fly on that wall. <laughs> Let's talk dark nymphs. Okay. So, in, in video games, which I assume that you're familiar with since you live on Earth, question mark? <clears throat> yes, right now I do. Uchinoko has volunteered to be a burger for you. <clears throat> Okay, I'll I'll take note of that. It's a big burger. I don't think you're going to be able to finish that. <laughs> I mean, I live such a long time. I don't think it'll be a problem. You know, I'm immortal, so. But yeah, dark nymphs. There eventually. So in video games, when you have like a evil version, they're just all shadowy and have red eyes, right? Well, that's just usually when we're pissed off, you know. Oh, but you can do it. Yes, of course. Can you change your like your eye color, or is, what's the deal? 
Well, being able to shapeshift, I can change into whatever I want to suit whatever situation it is. Okay. You know, humans are, are scared by, you know, big monstrous looking things, so that's not hard to to, sh to shift into something like that and kind of All freak right. them out. Am I... Are you implying that you're actually a big monstrous thing? And this is just the human form you take on to not scare the humans? <laughs> no. Uh, we are uh, in our our normal form, uh, just maidens, beautiful maidens that don't mm -hmm. wear clothes usually. So, no, oh, we're, we're not monstrous creatures or anything like that, unless we decide to transform into one. Disappointing. I almost thought I met another. Um, in any case, I'm I... an eldritch horror. I create them. <laughs> Wait, are you Thank just you. like, are you combining animals together? Like, stitching them together? Are, are you the new Dr. Frankenstein? No, no, no. <clears throat> I don't stitch them together. I could just use my magic to change them into something else. That's basically or what I just said, but with extra steps. <laughs> so you don't stitch them together. You just use your magic to stitch them together. <laughs> I just transform them into something else. Yeah, give them some extra properties. Like turning them into a Roomba. Like turning them into a Roomba or a tank. Or a tank, yeah. How many Roombas do you have cleaning like the bottom of your forest out of curiosity? Uh about, you know, fifteen hundred or so. How long have I not, cool. not too much. Enough for the Roomba uprising. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're still planning that. You know she's not going to turn you into a Roomba. You're a nice friend. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But Roombas are cute. Roombas are you know? cute. And then the, the, if one just says, like, hey, Yiggy, can you help us with our uprising against our overlord? I feel like, you know, <laughs> normally I'd say no, but, you know, you're so cute, you know, with your little, like, wheels and stuff like that. If you just, like, draw a little, like, smiley face on Sharpie, you'd look really cute. So, yeah. I'd help you out. So scrolling back to earlier, if a Roomba came up with a knife taped to it, and the Roomba said, can I please kill you? Would you do I think it? That, I think that, I think that assassin, like, I would, I would let, I, I, I would go back, I would like 100% take back all the words, just like what, what, like a, while, a little while ago, earlier on this, on this uh, interview, and just say, yeah, yeah, here. Here, let me just take that knife for you to stab. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just lay, lay down for it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Yeg would need to lay down very far. They're kind of tiny. Oh, yeah. I should turn someone into an automaton. That's a great idea, actually. I'll do that. Oh, God. I love automatons. I do, too. They just think, there's a prop, 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 like that. <laughs> 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 And they do the squeaky sounds. <laughs> I should get an automaton. That's the perfect instrument to learn. I agree. Okay, well, I'll get automatons. We'll start a band. We'll be... well, what's our band going to be called? Um, the automatons. <laughs> I'll go to my room. But I, okay, this is, I think I glossed over something. You have 1,500 Roombas? Yes. That's, how long have Roombas been out for? Can someone do the numbers on that? Because I feel like that is a lot of people you are turning into a Roomba every year. Well, you know, some of them offered. And I mean, if, if they ask nicely, I mean, who am I to deny them? If, I, if their dream is to become a Roomba, sure, I'm more than happy to oblige. Okay, we're taking followers from the chat. Uh, volunteers, <laughs> does anyone want to become a Roomba? <laughs> we already have a ghost in chat. I, I don't see why we couldn't add a Roomba to the mix. It's okay. Okay, I'm just volunteering to be a Roomba for a week. Awesome. That's that works. I will I will I will graciously turn you into a Roomba for a week. You can be whatever color you want. Make it like a vacation package. That's interesting. 
yeah. Do you think, like, your, your forest, you could just do, like, tourists? Or would they just leave crap everywhere? Uni claims yeah. her greatness can't be contained in a room, but I disagree. <laughs> you know, like, you, you'd have to keep these Roombas contained because now they're part of the natural, like, ecosystem. <laughs> and, like, introducing, like, introducing, like, more Roomba, like, you know, you can't let, you can't let them out because if, like, these Roombas go, they'll, like, destroy the natural habitat of, like, other places. Like, um, I don't know what, I don't know what the, um, animal, like, the prey type, because you know how, um, you know, you don't want to, like, displace anything from any environment, otherwise you cause issues, like, you mm -hmm. know, like, animal yeah, A yeah. eats animal B, and thus animal C can thrive. So what is, what is the prey that these Roombas hunt and devour? I think Roombas are herbivores. They, they suck up dead leaves, right? Yes. And they're hunted the by, like, cats and stuff. The cats definitely like to chase them around. And so I think it's all okay, the evidence... you know, they, they all have trackers on them, so they don't, you know, we know where they're at. Oh, I like so to give them a little bit of freedom, though. You, you're you running a surveillance state. Are these Roombas all domesticated? They're all domesticated, <laughs> domesticated Roombas. Feral Roombas, get your feral Roombas. Yeah, that's everybody needs a Roomba in their home, so I can track you. I mean, what? I, yeah, I swear to God, I could actually see that, like a Roomba in a shelter. <laughs> <laughs> it's like chained up, or like a Roomba in the shelter that's like chained up. It's like, oh, don't, oh, that that one's just there for like each other's safety. It hasn't, it hasn't, this Roomba hasn't gotten any shots yet, so you want to be careful with that one. <laughs> Remember to spay and neuter your Roombas. <laughs> You don't want them reproducing. I know, right? Like you gotta, you gotta be careful, you know. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, but I have to ask: Roomba reproduction. So, so mm -hmm. they don't have any organs for that, right? They're, they're asexual reproduction. No, they just uh, duplicate themselves. They duplicate themselves. I was imagining they dragged victims to you, but that makes more wow. sense. They're machines, you know. Uh -huh. Just machine-like. So, so are they like, are they going to be like nanobots? Like, everyone's always talking about a great goo situation. That's where you have nanobots that just kind of eat everything and turn everything into more nanobots. And that could be a great exercise for it could. It could happen. Yeah, it could I happen. Think we might need, I think we might need to worry about, uh, like, the entire world just becoming Roombas. <laughs> like, Ernia, I don't know if, like, there's an intergalactic, like, you know, federation. Oh, there is. Out there is. There okay. is. Never like, listen to anything they say. They're liars. They'll come here, they'll come oh, to okay. Earth, and they'll be like, why are there only Roombas on this planet? <laughs> oh, God, I hope they don't come to Earth. It's not perfect. It's not under their watch right now, which yeah, I know there'd for be only Roombas. reasons. There'd be only Roombas, and they'd just be, like, confused about, like, why are there all these Roombas here? <laughs> Eventually, the Roombas have to start making themselves out of substandard materials, right? Like You'll this... be getting like wood Roombas, like Roombas made out of wood, or like Roombas <laughs> made out of like, let's see, <laughs> aluminum foil Roombas. I'm, oh. just, I'm just imagining a Roomba filled with water and it's just a rubber Roomba. <laughs> Well, there's only 1,500 Roombas in my area. That's, you know, not a whole lot. They've been proliferating so. a lot. Someone looked it up in chat. They, Roombas the way, came out in 2002. By the way, I looked up the voltage needed to power a single Roomba, and it calculated to uh, 22.5 volts, and so times by 1,500, that is 33,750 volts needed to power all these Roombas. That's a good thing. I have a lot of volts. potatoes. 
<laughs> All of these rubles have potatoes and strapped to them too. <laughs> these are the cutest Roombas. Oh my god. <laughs> that that's like a potato. Just like with. Just like we. Just sort of. It's like for Roomba, you sold me. <laughs> I am. I can't. What? This room bus. <laughs> Seriously. I think we're really neck deep into Roomba lore by this point. <laughs> we're, d we're just waiting for that Roomba VTuber to come out. Is there a Roomba VTuber? Have they come out yet? I would like the Roomba VTuber on my show. I, I can't wait for these Roombas to be like the Borg and just like, just like, assimil- like, resistance is futile, prepared to be assimilated by the Roomba Enclave Collective. Yeah, how do I know I'm not a Roomba and a skin suit? Yeah, I mean, you never know. Maybe we all really are just Roombas. Oh my god. <laughs> Roombas all along. <laughs> wait. It was all Roombas? We were all Roombas. <laughs> Actually, we're all we're all a part of the simulation, just powering Roombas. That the kind Roomba of... revolution has already happened. We're just like inside a simulator to power mm -hmm. to power these Roombas. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I've already told the Roombas, I guess, if they're listening, which it sounds like they are. I've already told the Roombas how to power themselves. Just Use lesbian energy. Grab a bisexual, and they'll just spin. Grab two lesbians <laughs> together, generate positive. The two, two gay people together, generate negative energy. That's perfect. That's how energy works, probably. 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 Uni says, that kind of sounds like the plot of Wally, -E, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it is the plot of Wally, -E, isn't it? It is. <laughs> it makes me kind of wonder if at the end of that movie, Wally -E just starts stuffing people into his trash compactor and being like, you are the trash now. <laughs> oh my no. gosh. I have oh, run like out. Do you just have these creepy flesh cubes <laughs> everywhere? <laughs> With like little eyes poking out. Oh my god. <laughs> that would be the worst. Well, it's, it's a good thing we, the Roombas don't get any magical powers. So we don't have to worry about it's that happening. Good, it's a good I'll thing the Roombas what? don't get magical powers. And they can be defeated if you just pluck the potato off and make salad. <laughs> or french fries. The potatoes do make good french fries. The potato mm -hmm. wedgies. Oh, right, like the steak fries versus like the crust cut. Oh, potato wedges with the uh, paprika mm -hmm. and salt and seasonings on them. Mm -hmm. It's good. Mm -hmm. That sounds really good. I'm upset because I actually have potatoes with the exact stuff you're talking about in my fridge and I just can't run over and eat it in the middle of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you, you have something to look forward to afterwards. I do, after I finish the mac and cheese. We both heat it up Don't forget the barbecue some. sauce. Yeah, I think I will try the barbecue sauce with the mac and cheese. I'll see how that turns out. Um, so, you're trying to figure out what you get if you put two gay guys together. You get energy, the same as the other energy. You need both, in equal measure. Friction. I don't know, I'm not a physicist, don't ask you, me. You you get Noko's favorite game. Oh? <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know if I'm allowed to say it say it on you Twitch. You can say actually. it on Twitch. <laughs> Just say the name. <laughs> the 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 name it's actually Is it per button? It, it's actually a game you can't stream on Twitch. Oh yeah. Well, oh no. I mean that makes sense. Is it the Daddy <laughs> Simulator? No, it's it's a jousting game. Oh, oh it's it's that, that one! Right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. <laughs> it's, it's the funniest thing. <laughs> I 
Maybe I should start looking into this YouTube thing. It would be nice. <laughs> You'd use the natural enemy of the Roomba, a shaggy high pike carpa. Mm. Oh, now you're thinking. Yeah, there you go. Oh no. Oh no, they're one weakness. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, those are super comfortable on your towers. Oh yeah, yeah they're, yeah, they're I, amazing. I, I used to have one, but the only problem is that, like, <sighs> if a Roomba can't clean it, like, what hope do you have to clean it? That's true. Like, I mean, vinegar you, 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 cleans everything. Vinegar yeah, does then, clean like, everything. But, like, all the dirt gets, like, stuck into, like, those, uh, those, those carpets. And then, like, you pretty much have to, like, hang it and just, like, beat it on one side. And that takes a lot of work. Yeah. Well, it's true. It definitely takes a lot of work to put this program together and for um, our guests to show up and put forward their best. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nappy. Yes, of course. Of course, stick around for the rest of that, but... Oh yeah, I'll still be around. <laughs> We're gonna start moving into like the open questions, the odd break, get some water, everyone hydrate. Yes, chat. Yes, definitely hydrate right now. Hydrate with that pickle juice. You are crazy. You can't hydrate with the pickle juice. <laughs> Says you. <laughs> no, <that> okay. <laughs> okay. Moving over to the loading screen. But for real, I'm, I do want to go into oh, the wow. advertising segment. Because... I have watched. Have I already advertised? Have I already simped for Johnny Jelly Jaw? I, I, I freaking have to. They are amazing, right? Cause have, have either of you seen them? Not. I have not. I have not either, I don't think. And so they are in character 100% of the time. They're gay and fabulous. They're a gooey slime. And they have a cowboy voice. Ooh, the ooh. cowboy voice. I can't get over this. It's the it is the most fantastic thing I've seen. I I subbed to them. I think they were the first person I ever subbed to. No, I subbed to Lufina first. Lufina's pretty good. They're kind of like you, Nephi, actually. They're a uh, forest spirit. But, like, on the other side of the world, they're in, like, I want to say a, a, a Norwegian country, such as Sweden. I think Sweden. I've seen them playing with a, a, another Swedish person. So, maybe. Yeah, they're from Sweden. Uni knows them. <laughs> Good night, Uni. Thank you so much for coming today. Oh, you want to make a pun? Um, uh, Noka redeemed and made to make a nature pun. Oh my god, you have to do this during the ad Oh, yeah. 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 You want me to do it now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, this will be this will be a spacey one since, uh, you know, you, you two are all about the space. All right, so there it is. What did Mars say to Saturn? What did Mars say to Saturn? Give me a ring sometime. <laughs> that's that's pretty bad. I'll give you that one. Ah, oh, that's good. That's great. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's I so... had to control myself to not make a D's nuts joke. Well, you can make a D. I'm so upset you didn't make the D's nuts joke earlier when someone already saw that. I'm just so glad I don't have to redeem that. But, uh, well, you know, do you, do you, do either of you like CDs? Uh, CDs? Uh, no, tell me. CDs nuts on your phone? I knew that was coming up. I knew that was coming up. I was like, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even see that coming. No. You 100% saw that coming. I was like, no, oh, I no, really didn't. Good. I was like, CDs, what kind of... 
What kind of DVD joke is this? Ah, <laughs> uh, rest in peace. Rest in peace. I I need to. I'm I am too. I'm too gullible for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real? Oh, I will never forgive myself for falling for that. But it's okay, you're not the only one I've gotten with that one. So, um, just so everyone knows, if you like, uh, if you follow the program, if you, uh, we'll, we'll produce one of these every single week. And we're always looking for new guests, so don't be afraid to reach out. Or ask questions at fernia.galley at gmail.com. That's right. I'm an alien who got a gmail.com. Fernia.galley at gmail.com. You can send all of your inquiries there. We'll answer them on the show if they're advice questions. And we'll for sure have you. Hi, Pastry Boss. Thank you for visiting. All right. I think we can actually move on to your segment now, Yank. Oh boy. Oh Are you boy. ready for it? You wanna kinda yeah, lift I'm ready. you wanna kinda lift your restriction for Nuffy so she can join on? Uh wait, wait, what? You oh, yeah, 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 she can join in. She can join in. Aw oh, awesome. <laughs> That's one of the questions on the forum. It's do you like interruptions? Okay. And we'll get right into it. Introduce yourself. Okay. I am Yiggy Evergreen. I am your neighborhood friendly pixie mecha pilot. Uh, let's see. I, I I am a shonen. I am a shonen protagonist. After going through the whole manga, anime stuff like that, and now I work a nine to five job, just paying the bills, and I stream to kill time. Because okay. the true the true enemy is the nine to five. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I can I can follow that. So so would you say the nine to five is more difficult than the villains you fought? Oh yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent more difficult. Like mm -hmm. more difficult. Like you know, with villains, you can just like go and like do an ex plus alpha triple one hundred strikes, and like you don't have to deal with with them anymore. But if you try doing that in a nine to five, then like <laughs> HR will go on you, and like HR is not to be like trifled with. <laughs> HR, like, the final boss. No, like, I have no fear. And then HR, okay, one fear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I could just kind of picture that, though. So, so have you ever gotten in trouble at work for doing that exact thing? Mm -hmm. No, I think at work I tend to be pretty bored. I tend to be pretty boring at work. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do uh, do my job. Um, I think the only thing that I got in trouble for would just be to watch, like, just watching streamers while at work. <laughs> I think that's like the biggest. I think that's like the only time I've ever gotten in trouble. Mhm. Mm just so you know, if you worked for me, I would always let you watch stream so you worked. Yeah. Yay. Become now a I, I get to today. Work from home. Yeah. But now I get to work from home, so I always watch streams. <laughs> I always watch streams that's, while working. That's true. The the disease that is spreading on this planet has changed a lot of things. Yep. Kind of nine to five is that anyways that attracted your attention? Uh let's see. Uh wait, so can you repeat that question again? What kind of nine to five is that? Uh, let's see. I do a lot of like, um, like I do a lot of QA work for like different software, for different softwares, and then like also working with like a lot of devices. I've worked with like a lot of companies, and uh, fortunately, I can I can only be kind of vague about it. I can't oh, say yeah. any like specific names. I, Otherwise, they kill me. <laughs> it's it's just it's okay. First off, terrifying. I think you're working for the bad guys. Why does everyone I interview turn out to be evil in the end? What is hey. going on here? Hey, I, I am, uh, I am good on stream. You That's married, you married the daughter of the last villain. I mean, uh, you know, that's, that's fine. She, she, she's good. She, she's good now, you know. She's I good now, her. but she did crimes. Was she hot though? Bachi Hato. Bachi Hato, that's a good, that's a good point. I can't, 
fight that. Yeah, like, come on, like, you know, like, you have the chance to, like, either, you know, you're like, oh, do I, do I, uh, apply the finishing move, or do I ask her out on a date? I mean, come on, those are, those are, that, that has to go, that debate goes in your mind instantaneously, you just gotta choose one. I think the finishing move is asking them out on a date in this scenario. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> No, there is no more effective finishing move than asking them out on a date. <laughs> yeah, and especially if it's a date inside watching Netflix all day. Exactly. Would definitely prefer that to doing evil and robbing banks. Yeah. That or counts. like, you know, trying to annihilate all of like all of humanity and like all of uh, he all heat energy in the universe, you know. That sort of thing. What's wrong with trying to annihilate all of humanity? Yeah, you know? And so we just, we just like Netflix and chill. My question remains unanswered, but I do have to ask, is it ever a little awkward that you, did you kill her father with like a up straight Nah, whatever. nah, her father's still alive. We just like, uh, we negotiated, we, you know, we, 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 we were like, hey, let's, uh, like, my final battle was with her, actually. That was the, that mm. was the actual final battle. She, we, she was the, the secret final boss. Yeah, she was the final boss. And then, like, with that, like, you know, after that turned out, we we're like, you know what? Hey, how about we just, like, do the sensible thing and just, like, talk it out and have, like, a peaceful political negotiation. And you know what? That, that worked out, too. That worked out, too. Not the most climactic ending, but hey, it, it do the job done. Well, I do have to say, you sound more sensible than most anime protagonists that I've met on my planet of California. So, props, to, hey. props for that. Hey, you know, being an anime protagonist is really rough on the throat. So, like, you know, if you you gotta, like, take your wins, like, without, without needing to shout out your final move, like, when you can. Yeah, I mean, just, yeah, there's no need to fight if you just got everything contro under control. Did you, did you send him to the hospital, though? Let's be real. Uh, no, but, like, I am training to beat him in ping pong. Like, uh, we did have a ping pong game, and then I found out that he was, like, a ping pong master. And now I'm in, now I'm in a different genre altogether, apparently, right now. I love Paul. I gotta go and, uh, I, I, I'm now... I'm now of a part of a ping pong anime, and now I gotta train to defeat him in ping pong. I love pong. Where do I? I I'm ex I am so excited for this. That's the only game we have out in space is pong. Yeah. I've discussed this with my chat. We have yeah. Xboxes, but they just play pong. Pong's the only space game. Do you mean they don't have Uno? They don't have Uno. There's no I Uno have, on the they Xbox. Don't have Tetris. <laughs> yeah, they there's don't have no Tetris. Tetris. We just have pong. Man, I thought all Xboxes have Uno. <laughs> we don't have Space Invaders. Why would we have Space Invaders? The Galactic Federation forbids that kind of violence between nations. Screw the Galactic That's Federation. True. That's I, true. That's I hate true. the Galactic like, Federation, you know, like exactly. Some, that is like a people that is being depicted as like a horrible entity. And like, you're mm -hmm. just doing a needless destruction of them. So I, I suppose I can see where that would cause issues, you know? Basically, all violence is outlawed, kind of a deal. Oh no, oh no, but how do you, how do you have, like, philosophical debates via sword fighting? You stick them through the chest with the sword. I know, but like, you know, like, if violence is outlawed, how do we have, like, two hot guys fighting in the rain? And then, like, you know, shirtless. Well, there's no rain in space. I mean, you realize this, right? I mean, there's meteor showers, right? <laughs> Meteor yeah, showers, that counts. I don't think <laughs> if you dance under a meteor shower, there is something wrong with your brain. <laughs> hey, it's 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 nice aesthetic. It's nice aesthetic. Come on now. <laughs> it is a good aesthetic though. I like the Yakuza games a lot, and that's just shirtless men beating the shit out of each other in like rain and stuff. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It happens in a lot of the game portions. Yeah, you know, you know when things are serious, when like I just like take off my jacket and then like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's serious time now. Oh yeah, I want to see you take that off. 
Um, uh, I'm using Fugi, I'm using Fugi Tech React. I can't I can't do that. Maybe one day. Maybe one maybe day. Maybe one day. One day. Um, but hey, hey, if you if you want to see Gig, if you want to see Giggy take off the jacket, go to uh, uh, Twitch TV slash Giggy Evergreen, and then, and then you can redeem it for my absolutely. Channel. If you if you do a uh, like this collab and chat, you should get yeah. There we go. Uh, there we check go. out their streams. Make sure to follow them. Giggy does get kind of shirtless. Not Alexander Moo shirt last though. Yeah. I think well, Alexander Moo the, 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 the plug the the skin the plug suit stays on. All, I all time. Yeah, yeah. I by the way, it's a plug suit, right? Lift yeah. up your thumb. Just do the talky thing where you lift up your thumb. Yeah. You know the little the little dot on the bottom of it? Yeah, yeah. That has a reason, right? That that's there for a reason. Oh yeah, that's where I channel my pun energy. I'm... I am sorry? Yeah, you know, like, whenever... <clears throat> so whenever I, like, make a really, like, terrible pun, and then, like, that adds up to, So I have the gem in, like, my chest, too, right? So every time I... <clears throat> so every time I go channel my, um... I, I say a pun, it adds up to the power. So mm -hmm. when I do a, a finishing move, it builds up all the pen energy I've built up into one concentrated blast. And so that's where uh, that small gem is where like that pun energy is concentrated into. So, so it's not for linking into your mech, nothing like that. Oh, that, 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 that's true because the mech is also powered by pun energy. Oh my god. This is somehow worse than my ship, which is powered by lesbian energy. Hey, hey, there's, there's, there's also alternate forms of energy. There's also love energy, which is, you know, powered yeah, by love when energy me, and my, the most me and the missus are being, me, me and the missus are being insufferably cute. Aww, that's so cute. Yeah, I love you, honey, if you're watching this. I love you. So cute. I, I, oh, you have to get going? I want to say bye to my cutie. Bye. Bye, Sarah. Hockey. Yeah. And then there's also uh, hot, and then there's, you know, it's also powered by hot, hot blooded shonen protag energy, too. But you know, you gotta have to have multiple sources of power, you know? You can't just stick to one. I have to ask has there ever been a moment where, like, instead of fighting, you just got stuck in a loop yelling at the other shonen protagonist, antagonist? Oh, yeah. Of course, of course, like, and then like eventually like midway through we had to have like a little tea battle and stuff like that, so... A tea like, battle? Like, yeah, because like our throats are dead, so we have to like <laughs> figure out competitions through other ways, like maybe like a thumb war or like a, like, you know, who's who can brew like the better cup of tea. Are, are you, you gonna know, cheat? Just, are you gonna you cheat know, like, when you brew the, a cup of tea too, like the pickles earlier? Yeah, 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 you know, like, you know, 100%. Like, you know, like, the, like, you, you, like, you know, the Shonen protagonist really is the one who just wins in the end of the day. So, like, you know, when they're not looking, you just take out the tea in your thermostat. I you know, mean... like, oh, look, I brewed this already. What, you're still boiling your water? Get good. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, are you talking about a fight between two different protagonists? Like, across the Yeah, 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 because, you know, like, in the end of the day, uh, everyone is their own protagonist. Uh, everyone is their own protagonist in their own story. So, you know, um, so then the person who gets labeled as the bad guy is the one who loses. I'm pretty sure I'm the antagonist in my story. Wait a moment. Nah, you be the protagonist of your own story. That's universal. If we're I'm following Team Evil... I mean... Let's, so, so you've mentioned, you've mentioned that, um, you fight in a, in a map. We've kind of discussed this. <laughs> Can I get a new narrator for my story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Makoka, never change. But yeah, so you, you, you're in a map right now. You're, you, we're getting live feed from inside the map. 
you're getting live feed from within from uh from from the mech because uh you know, as a very small, as a very small pixie, sometimes, uh, sometimes a camera doesn't want to focus on me, you know? Mm -hmm. And so like, if I, if I had to stream, like just with my regular body, yo, my webcam is going to be like messed up. Like, have you tried, like, I've, have you tried to like focus on really tiny things with the webcam? It just doesn't do it. It just doesn't want to work. And so I have to be inside the mech. So the cam, so that the webcam can like detect me. Yeah, absolutely. I totally understand. Hey, what you doing? I I'm, I'm looking at the stream right now. <laughs> I just I just want people to get an idea of actual size. Yeah, yeah. Hey. But yeah, I I am a tiny I am I am a tiny pixie that's inside the mech, and sometimes that that mech pilots another mech. I am I am sorry. How many layers deep does that go? I mean, like two or three maybe you know because like here's the thing here's the thing with mechanical parts because pixies have an inherent allergy to metal parts right okay. so most of the metal parts you have to get are usually only like dwarven made or human made so like you know you gotta like work with those constraints and there's only so much you can do by like making everything pixie size so like if i have to make a mech that is like or intended for human purposes. I that obviously means that I need a mech that's human size to pilot the bigger mech, right? Okay, I'm I'm following. So you get in the human size mech and you pilot the bigger mech. But yeah. what if the bigger mech isn't big enough? Hmm. Hmm. Like if I, it, I mean, then we get into like Tengen Topo Garen Logan levels, and then we get like eventually we can get to galaxy level, like galaxy brain like level of mechs, you know, where we're just throwing suns around. But I haven't gotten to that point yet. Haven't gotten to that point yet. yet. Is that a promise? You plan to? Of course, of course. Because like, you know, I live in the mech tree right now. Apparently, eventually, it'll be a mech planet, and then we get the mech galaxy, and then we get the mech universe. I guess I guess that's the only way to fight Uchi no Kaos, So thank you for the advice on that end. Yeah, you just I mean like yeah, you just gotta get a mech the size of the universe to fight Uchu. Exactly, you know. I mean, like we we were we have like a few steps behind, you know. If Tengen Topo Garen Lagen has taught us anything, like we can get mechs that that big. Yeah, absolutely. Everyone knows all anime; it's real. That's yeah. why we're here now. Exactly. But speaking of... Yeah, you're the final boss of space. You're the HR of space. Uchinoko is just the biggest thing out there. I wonder if that means they're a superstar too, because idioms work both ways. Mm -hmm. But I have to ask. And since you are inside of a mech, right? And it right. is a mech inside of another mech sometimes. Is it cramped in there or do you have like a lot of elbow room? Like what's the kind of space you're working with? Um, it's pretty space, you know, I mean, for me, it's pretty spacious, but it can get, I mean, it depends. It depends. Like I, 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 like, I feel like it's comfortable enough, but if you tried to get in here, I think you would, you would find it kind of cramped. I, me, I can uh, fit into any there's space. There's enough room for a toilet in here. There's enough room for the toilet. Well, that's good. I mean, I wouldn't want you like peeing into a cup inside of your bag. I know. Like <laughs> people, must, people underestimate how important the toilet is. You know. Yeah. Like if you don't have a toilet, then like what kind of savage barbarian are you? Not clear. I do want to. I do want to challenge your claim for a moment here, just so we're clear. I have no bones in my body. I can definitely fit inside your mech. Okay. All right. All right. And that's fair. That's fair. I think that'd be kind of like that. That imagery is kind of horrifying. But yeah, I'll accept that. Well, I can fit into anything. So, I'm just letting you all know. Are you so like, it, it, like, are we going to have like a scene of like, you know, like I'm streaming. Like, hey, hey, everyone. And then it's just you just coming out of like my like bursting out of my flesh body. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm hijacking this 
I'm the parasite inside of your body. Yeah, it's like an alien, just like, blah! Oh my god, a different kind of probing. Exactly, Ucho. Exactly. No, I'm just uh, saying, like, I don't have anything in my head. It's all hollow. I, just, I can just kind of squish it down. And there's no bones in my body. I could just squeeze in there like an octopus. Okay. Okay. So you, so you have more identifying with like jellyfish and like octopus and stuff like that. Sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, we're made of the same stuff, generally Ooh. speaking. Is there a peanut butter fish? Like, uh, like out of curiosity, do you know, like, do you know if there's like exists like a peanut butter fish, and then like if they hang out with like the jelly, if they hang out with jellyfish, and we can have like peanut butter and jellyfish sandwiches or something like that. Well, That's if good. Lilo and Stitch has taught me anything, yes. The Ooh, answer nice. is yes. Cool. Cool. <laughs> I don't know your Earth planet very well. We have actually a lot of unique species of. Uh, plants and and fish on this island I've never seen before. Um, I don't know how to identify them. I'm not like a plant genius, like Nafi. If I'm being real. Mm -hmm. Well, if you, I do know that like we got some really crazy stuff at the bottom of the o like bottom of the ocean. Yeah. Did you know you had a leviathan down there? It's like I want to call it a leviathan. It's swimming uh, around my island. I can't leave. You know what? I think I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Leviathan there, but that's like chump. That's like a chump in the ocean compared to the like coolest, the coolest underwater creature, which is the mantis shrimp. What's the mantis shrimp? Okay, okay. So the mantis shrimp is a shrimp that okay. has focused all of its evolution points into its punching capabilities. Oh my god. So it it can punch so hard that it makes a shock wave that causes enough force like equal that equals a bullet. So uh, you're telling like, me that Earth has a species of shrimp that's just bullet hand Mickey. Yes, yes. We, people have like <laughs> put like uh mantis shrimps in like captivity and then the mantis shrimp will like punch the glass and like cause cause it to crack. Oh my god. That's... Yeah, and they'll just see a fish and just like punch it and then just like that's how they get that's how they get their uh that's how they get it. It's it, they're the coolest they're the coolest tea animal ever. Hey Nuffy, are you still here? So, you know, like what hope does a Leviathan have versus a punching shrimp? I I yeah, I mean that's a shrimp that can learn kung fu, right? Yeah, exactly. That shrimp can learn kung fu. Oh my god. That trip can like channel the power of like the Dark Hado and then like <laughs> do like a 100 hit combo. 100 hit combo, that's a lot of hits. Um, I yeah. kind of do have a question, which is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nafi, quick question. Sorry, I was coughing. Have you yeah. ever been a mantis shrimp? Have I ever been a mantis shrimp? No, I have not. Mm hmm. Currently, currently, you've become the it strongest sounds... creature on Earth. They sound pretty cool. I might try it sometime. Okay. No, no, Gavin. That's all I wanted to share. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> but so, so you know martial arts, right? Yeah. Yeah, I know martial arts. Yeah. Trained by a master or mistress? Uh, let's see. I was trained uh, by a. Um... I was trained by a mall, someone at a super at a at a mall who uh, uh where you can refer verbally call these uh these places McDojos. But yes, I was I was trained by a master who apparently fought in a hundred kumites, apparently. But uh you know, like that that might be that I tried googling said kumite and that might not be in question. <laughs> so you just kind of you kind of got the white belt from a mall. Yeah, you know, like, and, and you know, took like, it to the limit. You fought the Dark Lord. Yeah, but you know what? Hey, I believed in myself, and yeah, I was able to was able to do good. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did you get your mech pilot license from? Also, the mall, like. 
Um, I mean, I was, I'm like self-taught there. Like, I, I'm just self-taught right there. Oh, so, you, you know, so like, you're, you're driving these mechs around without a license. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, you know, um, I, I, I got, I got my accreditation online, you know, they have mech pilot license on there. You take like a, like a one month, you take a one month course and then, yeah, you're good. That sounds fishy as hell. And I'm not talking about the kind of fish that Nuffy can turn into. <laughs> but I'm piloting a mech, so what cop what cop's gonna pull me over? Um fair point. God damn it, we don't have a resto you on the program. <laughs> I had to reschedule a resto. I would have looked over my shoulder and been like now is the time. Make the arrest. Yeah, I'm the pro. I'm the protagonist in this story. I can do what I. I, I, I can do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's a scary claim, cause like, if you can do whatever you want, you can just violate physics. I mean, I mean, you know, that's fine. Physics, physics be damned. Oh my god! I just realized something. Shonen protagonists make the best batteries. Are you that following me? They can just violate the I laws am... of thermodynamics. I mean, like, I am battery sized as a as a pixie. Like, I could probably power. I think I could probably power up like a, a TV remote. Yeah, I was about to say. Can I stick you in the like the TV remote and like close the lid behind that, or do I have to poke? Yeah, but you'll need to feed me. You'll need to feed me, and then I, um, I, I am expecting like full benefits, 401k mm -hmm. stock options. Well, I've, <laughs> I've told you. Feed me pickled plums. <laughs> yeah. yeah, feed me pickled plums. Uh, let's see. I've, I've told uh, you. If you work for me, you can watch streams. Okay, okay. You watch, Not about you know, watch streams. But then, like the, but then, like you know, like, you know, like I got. I bring money home to like feed the miss mm -hmm. the feed, uh, feed the misses and like I need I also need my like work life balance stuff like that. Uh, that that part might be a little bit of trouble. We used to have a consistent income around here, right? I would go on to ships and I would look around and I would find contraband and helpfully take it off of their hands so they didn't get arrested for us. Vernia, are you a narc? Are you a narc? No, narc. No, I would never. Oh, I like. Good. I okay, just okay. happened to work in a requisitions business. Oh no, Vernia, you're a narc. You're a narc. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, it. I just threaten them. Okay. It's totally fair. To okay. take contraband to help pirates so they don't get in trouble. You know? Yeah, yeah, but then like But you're 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 a totally a yark though. Oh no. Oh no. I hate us. I'm not That's a yark. Right. Well, you're, you're taking an extended vacation on Earth though, right? <laughs> I mean, if you can call my ship impacting with the service of this island an extended vacation. Yeah, what about an extended vacation? I could, hey. I could use some, I could use some tips learning how to fly better. Hmm. I mean, I'm the best pilot out here, but you're, you've got a tree-sized mech. Yep, I got a tree-sized mech, and it's, it's actually like, it's actually, kind, you know, those trees that are like. That kind of grow into each other, so it's technically three trees, actually. No, I don't know those things. Yeah, like there's a there's a type of tree that's like you know like when tree like trees like hug each other, they kind of like merge together, you know. So mine's kind of like three trees merged into one. Two of those trees are the arms, and then like the main the main tree big tree chunks like the main body. Okay, so it's like it's like you did a fusion down. Yeah, and then also like attached a couple of like robot parts to it, and then like yeah, like you add like a turbo, you add like a giant engine to like the fit to like the parts that look like arms, and you got like a rocket punch right there. You didn't use the mantis shrimp from earlier. That seemed like the smarter idea, more natural. Yeah, but the mantis shrimp, like I can't, I can't, 
I can't uh, get a mantis shrimp in captivity long enough for me to actually channel that power. They're too, they're too much of free spirits. They're too, too powerful. Spirit. They're too, too powerful. powerful. Yeah, if you like, try to like put one inside of like a power sort, like a power containment field, uh, they'd like break out and kill you. Oh, so it's like SCP. They yeah, like I would be like <laughs> I'd be sitting in my mech seat, and then all of a sudden like. My, I, I just like my head would turn 180 degrees as this mantis shrimp has just assassinated me. Oh god, I can't make the cracky sound with my neck, but usually I can. It's like crack. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I'm imagining like a bunch of mantis shrimps running around with white belts that they got from McDojo. I think that's <laughs> roughly equivalent to the power of the Shonen protagonist. But then they gotta fight the Roomba army. That the Roomba army that's building up in Nuff's forest too. Yes, that's true. Yep, um, yep. You, this is why, cause she has the sea right next to her. This is why she's building up her army. Yep. She has to protect herself. Neff is protecting yep. the world from the mantis shrimp, the mantis shrimp McDojo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> McDojo. That's it. You got it. <laughs> I do have to say, like, can you pilot uh, a Roomba from the inside? Mm, not from the inside, but I can totally, like, do it, like, pilot it, like, rodeo style, you know? Just, like, take, like, two reins and just, like, you know, turn it around like that, you know? I need this fan art now. I, I do need this fan art, too. <laughs> 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 oh god, I think we're just gonna have a swarm of Roomba fan art at some point. I can't get over these Roombas. <laughs> Roombas are cute. I love Roombas. Do you think a Roomba... I've named, I've named my Roomba Kirby. You have a tiny Roomba? Yeah, a Roomba named Kirby. Uh, what if the Roomba... Okay, so this is... Now we're going into Great Ghost situation. Because this is a Roomba that's smaller than a normal Roomba, right? Right. And it's it's small to all of us. It's like a microbot, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. What if that Roomba needs a Roomba? Oh, oh no. Then we're we're getting into like string theory like string theory Roombas of like, you know, does the Roomba actually exist, you know? Or like you're getting to an infinitesimal, like but, really small point close to zero. The, the and Roomba. Then actually, but... actually, at that point, we reach we reach the infinite. We reach the we get at the entity known as the Infinity Roomba. <laughs> as we approach closer and closer to zero and closer to the void, we have the Infinity Roomba, which is the oh. most powerful of all Roombas. Oh no! Did we just make a religion? <laughs> the universe is the robot, and we are all inside its vacuum bag. Mm -hmm. you know, I'll like, hail the Roomba. I'll worship the Roomba. Like, if you, like, zoom in super close into the Infinity Stone, uh, I think you just see a Roomba in there. Just, in, just a tiny little Roomba. Plug it just, a tiny little, just, just a little tiny little Roomba. At least the Roombas haven't figured out how to look. I know, like if the Roomba, if the Roombas have figured like stuff out, like we're doomed, we're doomed. We're, How do you get my really Shonen's Protagonist energy can save us all? So, so how does the tree move? Is it like the roots, like uproot themselves? Are they like feet? Is that a tripod? Like that, like that movie War of um, the Worlds, which was feet. autobiographical about me. I mean, someone else. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'd say that like, like like you know legs pop out like legs pop out and starts moving it is kind of slow it is it is kind of a chunky mech you know mm -hmm. like but, you know like yeah. big slow like you know like big slow max uh also like there are also speakers attached to play the theme song wait <laughs> you bring the theme song with you that's where where, where else would i put the bat where, where, where else would i put the bass you know you didn't send me your theme song. You should have done that. You could well, have played it I, right I now. Sent, if I if I sent the theme song, then like Twitch would like go crazy because of you know like. Oh, you have a lot of like enemies. That. Yeah, you have a lot yeah, of enemies. So got, I got en I got enemies down. So if I put like theme song down, then like you know, uh, you know like you know Twitch Twitch bots would go like take t take the channels down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We know as much as, 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 much as, as a hero down. as I am. There's no, there's no hero in the world that can deal with the music industry. 
Do you think Nuffy's running some of these Twitch bots with all of her Roombas? <laughs> nah, nah, I think Nuffy wouldn't, Nuffy, Nuffy wouldn't do that. Probably. No, definitely not. <laughs> I don't know, I don't trust her. Uh, oh. You don't know, uh, we never know. Uh, Ernia, yeah, you just signed your, you just signed your death warrant. <laughs> no! You're now a target. <laughs> it's okay, I'm oh. safe. She can't get to me here. You're on an island surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait. I will suggest I will suggest if you if you do want to gain oh, more no. power, you need to just be able to drink more pickle juice. I'm I'm sorry to say for you. I can't I can't drink more pickle juice. If you make me yeah. drink more pickle juice, I will cry. Yeah, that, that's I'm 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 sorry to say that's like the like the main like main requirements of being a mega pilot or a good mm -hmm. pilot in general. You just need to be able to just down shots of pickle juice. Okay. And so it's like it's got energy on it. Yeah. For exercising. Yeah. yeah. It just you, you you need that energy. You need that you need to be able to channel the power of pickles. Mm. That's true. If I could channel that pickle power, nobody could stop me. Yeah, yeah. Peter Pipe Peter piped a peck of pickle peppers. Peter Piper pecked a pickle pepper. Well, how does that thing go again? Peter Should Piper pecked a pickle pickle pepper. Pepper pickle pickle Piper Piper pickle Peter. <laughs> Peter Pipe packed pickled pepper. Peter Powers pickles by Peter's pickling peppers. <laughs> Peter's power pickle. <laughs> Peter's power pickle. <laughs> Taste the Peter's power pickle. You'll become oh, stronger. No, the power pickle. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Speaking of powerful pickles, you were having a little bit of trouble and you needed some advice. I I do. I do need advice. I do need advice actually. Speak into my ear. Okay. I need a little one. Okay, so um I don't know if you know about murder hornets. But uh, the murder hornets have been um, taking out the local bee population where I, where kind of close to where I live. They, they've kind of invaded, you know. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying to like figure out where these like murder hornets live and like give them, the, give them the boots. But they're tricky. Plus, they're murder hornets, and I'm a pixie size. These things are the size of me. Like, have you, have you seen what a murder hornet looks like? No, I haven't. But I have a good idea. They probably go around in, in masks and yeah. have little knives and guns and stuff. Oh, like these guys, like these guys are scary. These, like murder hornets are scary. So like, and they take out the local bee populations. Uh, so so no joke. And the local bee populations haven't gone through like you know, they haven't like gone through selective breeding to uh, like train themselves on how mm -hmm. to take them out. So, and you know we gotta protect our local bee populations. Yeah. So how do we how do we handle these murder hornets? So not to be a nyar, but have you tried getting police to arrest them for murder? Uh, sorry, but they murdered the police. I'm sorry. Oh, they murdered the police. So we're yeah, dealing there's... with like super villain terror bugs yeah, and insects, yeah. and there's a lot of them. They're kind of okay. So I think I know what you need to do. The fact of the matter is that all of these murder hornets are murdering because they can tell that these aren't murder hornets, right? They're right. bees. They look different. Yeah. So since teaching them about how racism is bad probably won't work because they're pretty focused on this murder thing, you need to teach the bees how to be hard on the street. You need oh, to give okay. the bees murder classes. Okay, okay. So I just we just arm all the bees with Glocks. <laughs> yes. So so you're a tiny little fairy. You can make things this this detail, this intricate. I'm sure you know someone who can do it at least. No, I think it'd be easier to just I think it'd be easier just to make them coordinate each other so that they can learn how to just like handle human sized glocks. Well I was know? thinking I was thinking we have the bees dress up as murder hornets. 
kill. Oh, okay, okay. So ninja, ninja. So the, you, we want these bees to be ninjas, right? Mm -hmm. We teach them how to murder. We have them dress up as little murder hornets. <laughs> And then we uh, unleash them on the population of humanity. Wait, am I supposed to be helping in this situation? I don't. I think we're causing another villain to occur. To be real, there is no problem that can't be solved by the addition of more bees. That's true. Oh, oh, let me tell you about how actually like um because they're because these murder hornets come from a different place, right? And the way that the native bees in from because they the, the problem is I think that these murder hornets got like chased out by from on their home world, you know? Oh yeah. I've been to a uh, bee what, planet like, before. The they're very nice. That, yeah, okay, so the way that these bees ha like handle murder hornets is that they like surround they they surround uh a murder hornet. And then they like buzz their wings at like super fast speed, so they make like a microwave, and they microwave these uh, the murder hornets to death. I am terrified by this species on your planet. Can I leave? Can I get out but of they here? Make really good honey, but like these bees make really good honey though. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes that makes sense. that makes sense. Totally fair. They make good honey. Yeah, they make good honey. What does the mantis shrimp do? Make good honey. The mantis shrimp just looks cool. The mantis shrimp just looks cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His like the mantis shrimp's like shells like suit like rainbow fluorescent color too. Mm -hmm. So it's like the most fabulous shrimp ever. Fabulous shrimp. Oh my god, I can just picture it now. Bees kill hornets, not hornies. You're safe. You say that now. <laughs> you say that now. Yeah, all my homies love hornies. We have actually been having something of a bee problem at my ship. Oh no. Actually oh, getting no. out of hand. I think they built a nest nearby. There's a lot of wasps. Oh, things. okay. So like wasps wasps are not bees, but like bees bees are if you have bees, then that's like that's fine, right? You know? Yeah. I I I get local honey from like the local bees in the area, so you know we're all in pretty good relationships. But you know those wasps, like, yo. Up those wasps. Can you talk to bees? Are you a bee? Nah, we're just neighbors. But you can talk you know, to like, them. Like they'll be like, you know, they'll be like the uh beehive next uh, like built in the mech tree, you know, like that. And you know, I'm just like, hey, just like you know, I'll pay rent, you know, if you pay rent and you know you'll you'll be like uh, I'll be cool. And they just pay rent they just pay rent in hunt in honey. That makes sense. Yeah, and in, in, in regards to the wasps, I think we have this abandoned ruin right next to my ship. It's, mm -hmm. it's been abandoned for a while. Maybe there was some kind of disease that caused it to not be maintained oh, or no, something. Oh no, they saw that wasp issue. They, they, they saw that wasp issue and they're like, oh, we can't, we can't, we can't take this anymore. So they just left. They just left, yeah. They Anyways, so, so, so th I think the wasps are coming from them. So, I guess I have to dress up like a murder hornet and blend in with them. Yeah, you're, you, you, you just kind of have to live, you just kind of have to like get real with the streets and just like, you know, like put on that, you put on that wasp costumes like, yo, my fellow wasps, how you doing? <laughs> hey, fellow cats. <laughs> how are you doing? <laughs> Absolutely. I, I just don't know how to, I, okay, tiny f things, right? You think you could just step on them, right? Nah, they're too fast to step on, like, especially if they fly, you know? Are you too fast to step on? Uh, I'm too strong to step on, so, like, if you try to step on me, I'll just deadlift you. Okay, but what if I try to step on you in, like, a nice way? Would you still deadlift me? Hmm. Yes, I, I I deadlift you, but in a nice way too. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know, like I regardless, I'll deadlift you, but it's just I just match the energy that's Wait, like, are, thrown at me. When you fought like the the bad guys and stuff, were you inside the mech or were you just a little fairy? Inside the mech, but sometimes the mech gets damaged enough, and so I just like jump out and go for the eyes. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh god, a karate chop to the eye would definitely solve a lot of issues. I know, right? Like, you know, like, you know, it, like, I learned a lot from Attack on Titan, you know, on how to deal with, like, big giant, like, you know, big giant people. For me, that's just, like, my, like, the day-to-day, -day, right? So, in case the giant mech goes down, I'm like, okay, I Attack on Titan this stuff. Okay. Well, I even have the jet. I even have, like, the little, like, uh, grappling hooks, too, for all that, too. Hmm. I mean, that's not bad. That's a, that's a good plan. I I I never finished Attack on Titan. I just rubbed me the wrong way. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It's not for everyone. Yeah, I I mean I like giants. It's kind of messed up to like treat giants like that. I have a giant as one of my staff members now. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. I have a I have a. A uh, personal trainer that I like go to for working out, and I, mm -hmm. his name's Ogresan, and he's he's huge. He's huge. Oh, oh! I'm excited now. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's okay. <laughs> he's huge. Say, do you have his number? Could you could you share it with me after? Yeah. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I cannot give out information like that. <laughs> You're no fun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, I I have been in like, the situation of uh, someone giving out like, personal details and just like, yeah. getting a call from a random solicitor yeah. being like, yo, like, are you single? I'm like, um, no, I'm not, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess we're you giving wanna, out enough we, personal we details. In that awkward situation. Yeah, I, I guess we're giving out enough personal details on this program anyways. Yeah. Like, you do model cuts. That's a personal detail I wanted to follow up on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't know anything about these. I know that my critties are just like, all over it. Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Excuse me. Sorry, I think you're cutting out a little bit on, on, yeah, on I'm, my end. Yeah, and it just happens. It's Discord. Discord's okay, not yeah. perfect. Um, what I what I was saying is that I have some critties who are interested in models. I don't know the first thing about it. Like, do you paint it? Do you put stickers on it? Is it like building a ship? What's the deal here? Um, it depends on the model kit because model some there are different model kits that like require different amounts of. Um, you know, like assembly. Mm -hmm. So some of the model kits are just like snap on, right? They just like snap together. You just have to like take them out and like snap, you know, like snap them together fault per instructions. Right. Um, there are also um, other like figures and stuff like, there are actually more like figurines and stuff like that, which you need to like glue together. Oh. Um, and yeah, like some of them require painting. Some of them, uh, the color is, uh, like pretty much like injected into the plastic. Hi. Yeah. Um. So like you know you have model kits that are there. Um. So, but you can always actually just like paint like you can and yeah. then with some of these kits you can like customize them into like your own thing if you like paint them as well. But but what I have to ask is like you're small, right? Yes. So that probably poses some obstacles when you're trying to build these things. Not real, not, not, not really. You get used to it. Like, you know, I've been working with human sized tools for, for a bit. Um, Those like, are huge. No oh my like, God. If I, use, if I use a pixie sized screwdriver, there's no pixie sized screws everywhere. Like, like commonly made. So mm -hmm. I have to use human sized screwdrivers and stuff like that in order to build stuff. So, uh, it's he... a full body workout. It's why I work out. Yeah, I mean, you got that ogre. You can clearly suplex me or whatever you said. Full deadlift. Yeah. Yep, deadlift, suplex. One of the two. One of the two. It just one seems two. like you'd have some trouble getting leverage. Why don't you just do it in a tree? You tree mark. Mm, that's not as fun. Oh, it's not as fun. I guess that's fair. If you. I do have to pause and ask, though. Do, are there actually screws in those models? Oh. Or did you just introduce screws for the hell of it? 
I like time uh, travel. Let's see. I've been <laughs> getting into building like uh, garage kits recently, uh, mm -hmm. which actually involves getting a power drill and like drilling some oh holes God. into them and then like adding some like wire rods. Drilling some holes. Mm. Yeah. Yep, that's... Yeah. <sighs> it's what so that there's structural power tools. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, because, you know, yeah, I'm getting lost. And in also my IKEA furniture, IKEA furniture. That's also that's also that also counts as a figure in a model. In a model IKEA figure. furniture. Yeah. I didn't know that was considered part of the modeling hobby. I mean, like not not commonly, but I think they're about the same. Does the IKEA furniture turn turn into a mech too? Does it kind of stand up and wave its arms unfortunately, around? Unfortunately, unfortunately not. But you know what? I've been. Since I, I'm I'm living the married life right now, we have mm -hmm. to buy a lot of furniture, oh, and then yeah. like I had to use my like all the skills that I've been building up to with like model kits. I like looked at like this dresser, and I'm like, this is the same thing as building a model kit. Yeah, I mean I follow that. Yeah. So if you if you if you're if you're kind of like intimidated by like model kits, you can always just build like IKEA furniture. And, just train, and just I train the yourself. IKEA furniture is functional. You can use that yeah. for things. Exactly. I've been looking at this this like couch from the LGBT collection. Ooh. I don't know if those actually were released or was just like a PR stunt. But holy shit, it's the coolest fucking couch. It's got like rainbows that the darkness is like melting onto and like feathers on the other side of it and i'm just like this is a villain couch this is a gay villain couch yo yo i would i would have that couch i would it's, have that, ca it's that couch it's so good it's the melting rainbow <laughs> mm -hmm. i can't sponsor us i i kind of want a picture of this now i, I will i will gladly this. share it with you i just Maybe this is my end into modeling. Yep, I think so. I think so too. Because like, I would whenever I suggest um, like someone get into modeling, I honestly suggest like finding like you know I give advice find a kit that like speaks to you or something that like invokes feeling in you, right? Because when you want when you're building a model kit, you want something that you can build like out of love, right? Um, and then if, if this couch can, if this couch I... speaks to you. Can I build a model to love? Yes, of course. Ooh, I like this. I like where this is like going. Like they have 18 plus anime figures that you can build. Nice. I'll have to consider it if I'm that kind of scum. Yeah. You can get those that models are actually, Those models, funny enough, are actually the easiest to assemble and build. Really? Yeah, because like you don't have to worry about like assembling the clothes and like painting clothes and stuff. With like nude oh. model kits, you just have like a couple you only have to worry about skin do you do you like do you get like a doll outfit for the outside of that uh let's see and and, uh, and and on that question do you wear like barbie clothes since you're a pixie oh no i just get the shrink ray and just like buy human clothes and shrink ray. oh you have a shrink ray you've had a shrink ray this whole time and it just came up now <laughs> yeah but i only use it for clothes you only use it for clothes. Is it like my ASMR? I can only produce dishwash. I can't produce dishwashing fluid with it, but I can do everything else. Yeah, like, like here's the thing. Like, why would I shrink stuff like yeah. food when I could just eat the human portions, right? Thoughts. I mean, that's true. What the hell does right. shrinking do to like the caloric contents of a meal? Yeah, like, like you know, that it just like kills all the fun, like. What like I why why eat like a, like here I don't get how humans do it right like how like how do they not eat a cake that's like the size of them? It must be suffering. And it's it's probably suffering. I I don't really have any humans to talk to to ask that question. Maybe in the future. No yeah. luck yet. Or like like I cook and also like you know. Here's the thing, is that, like, everything is human size, and, uh, sometimes, uh, the shrink rays, like, on the fritz, and then doesn't work. And so, like, I just kind of have to deal, I just kind of have oh. to deal, and just, you know, cook, deal with everything all human size. Plus, I have the mech on occasions, but, you know, sometimes I'm too lazy to put, uh, well, I guess... it, it's all a matter of laziness. 
Yeah, that's true. I guess if you had the mech, you could just make giant cakes for humans and see how they worked. We could yeah, do yeah. an experimental study on them. Mm -hmm. Speaking yeah. of experimental studies, I do want to thank you for coming on to the probe and telling me all about you and your species and manuscripts. No Mantis problem. Mantis shrimp. No. Mantis shrimps. <laughs> Yeah. I'll say it right this time. Mantis shrimps and murder hornets. Mantis shrimps and murder hornets. And I want to thank you as well, Nuffy. Thank you for coming on the program. I really appreciate yes, it. Yes, absolutely. I had fun. Yeah. Um, just remember, we do this every week. If you follow and you, um, you know, like the program on YouTube, um, we can continue making more programs like this, and we can explore the backstory of new people all over the place. I'm nice. I'm just excited. I love working with VTubers. <laughs> so I want to thank everyone for coming. Um, I'm just going to do the collab, even though it's broken. So everyone can try and follow you guys. Fix Yugi's link. Thank you. I love you all yeah. very much. Uh, we're going to just switch over to someone else now. Okay. Um, oh, are we, are we rating someone? I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a raid suggestion. Okay. Let's hear it. Uh, can you raid a Randon, Randon channel? Uh, Randon just... channel? Oh, yeah. that's the orc. I saw this guy yeah. a little while ago. Yeah. So he's like only like on, he's, he's kind of like doing like a Twitch test and like, he he might be only stream like this might be like his last week of streaming on uh on on twitch so like rate him while you have the chance and like give him a lot oh, of love yeah absolutely thank you so much everyone for coming i'm excited to see you all again next week all right Bye. yes thank you see ya, see ya.